This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Shooting up your butthole. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my co-host, Nick Mason. Interesting emphasis on some of those words there. I mix it up Where every week. You know we that. talk about what movies. Are, you got to keep it alive, Mason. If, you, right. if you're not always moving, you're going to die or whatever. What, We're like the matter? sharks of the podcasting world. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We'll mm-hmm. eventually be poached. Have our fins cut <laughs> For our teethies? Yeah. For our fins and our teethies? Fins and our teethies, yeah. Uh, there's no sponsor this week, which was, you know, which is probably a bad for sponsors because it's probably going to be a pretty big episode. But I thought, hey, good opportunity to plug the Patreon up top. You missed out, sponsors. That's right. We could have sent (laughs) so many offer, tens of offer codes your way, sponsors. You wouldn't even believe it. You wouldn't believe it, you idiots. But yeah, we do have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. We post some stuff there every now and then, but it's more just to keep the lights on, basically. So if you 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 want to support the show in a way, that is a way to do it. If you want us to put these soundproof tiles up on the walls, because right now they're just sitting sitting on on chairs and propped against things. Yep. Yeah. Where well, they probably work. That's right. Somewhat. It's not important. But yeah, uh, also thanks to everybody who just supports in general. Uh, yeah. Also another thing, because it's probably a big episode and people will be maybe jumping over for the first time and you're like, talk about Endgame. There's always time codes in the description if you want to jump ahead. Exactly. But that's also for people who just want to do that anyway. You don't have to be new to do that. That's open. <laughs> all, that's a feature <laughs> no, open wall. No, only new listeners can do it. <laughs> they, yes, okay, fair enough. They don't have to put up with our crap, but everyone else does. That's right. Yeah. You knew what you signed up for. That's that's right. Get into it, Mason. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, cool. Uh, we'll keep the news a little bit light this week because it was a little bit light. Endgame kind of crushed everything, mm-hmm. including real world events, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Important things happen and then no, just kind of goes happened. away. No, nothing yeah. else happened. That's it. Uh, first up, we got a few trailers, one of which being for Gemini Man. Oh, the Or the Gemini Man. The Gemini Man. It's a Gemini Man, everyone. <laughs> he looks just like you. Will Smith. Will Smith. Yeah. A man who hasn't aged in, in, in many years. You, you, can't, you notice it more here. You the still aging. do. It's mostly the hair. <laughs> it could have been... Get anyone else, though. And look, maybe it'll come across in the acting. Yeah. Like, when we see the full movie, I think, you know, maybe he'll... The older version will be, you know, he'll be he'll be worn down by life. He'll have he'll a big have... billabong hat on sideways, like yeah. he had in Fresh Prince. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. But, but in this, it's just two guys who look quite similar. Yeah. One has some facial hair and the other one doesn't. That's right, yeah. So this was apparently in the works for years, right? Because I only knew about this recently when I think you brought it up. Yep. And mm-hmm. then a week later, you know, we get this trailer. Mm-hmm. Charlton Heston or Robert Redford or <laughs> You're someone. You're thinking of been... the Omega Man. No, no, I mean, they've been planning a version of this for years. Oh, have they? Okay. Yeah. This is news so to you me also. That? Or maybe no. I just, yeah. Well, then... Have you made it up, though? Are you thinking it's of the Omega possible. Man? It's Okay, all right. Yeah. Hmm. But I think that was if if there was going to be an earlier version, it just would have been two different actors, I assume. Yeah, it would have, they would have brought back Joseph Gordon, <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levitt, and Bruce Willis again. That's right for some time travel shenanigans. Mm. Does this look good to you though? Not especially. But it's it's Ang Lee though. I don't like anything Ang Lee's done. You've, ne- you've never liked anything Ang Lee's I done. I don't think I have. Name I another thing that isn't Hulk. Uh, okay, um, Brokeback Mountain. Okay, that's all right. Life of Pi. I don't remember Life of Pi. So he was on. He was on the, the boat with its tiger. Yeah, but it was a metaphor, maybe. No, I didn't like that. He did sense and sensibility. Didn't like it, but I didn't say it in fairness to him. Okay, uh, he did. Uh, he's got some upcoming projects, including Gemini Man, but also Thriller in Manila. Hmm. Presumably, some kind of scuffle in a Manila envelope. I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, correct. It's really up in the air. Uh-huh. Two ants having a fist fight. Yes. Okay, cool. And Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, which of course made waves. With its, I don't like that movie. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, ah. I, I know, I know, I'm wrong, but I just don't like. I, well, look, what I'm saying to be is fair, I hit, saw it when I was like 17. It's hit and miss, and this I feel as a genre is way closer to the things he's he's prone to miss with. I think he's gonna be all right, Mason, as a I, man and filmmaker. Yeah, look, I just I just think it. I think he thinks this is profound, but he hasn't also seen the Sixth Day. The Arnold Schwarzenegger movie about Author climbing. One with Author Jet Li. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, I think. I don't know. He, this, um, you know, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like he's a bit, he's a bit out of his depth here. Okay. And again, get an actor that looked really different when they were young. Right. So who would you who would you recommend? Who would you know? do a Robert Redford? He's 82 years old. You got plenty of reference footage. Yeah, that would work. He's got sure. such a craggly head nowadays. He's got a craggly head. He and... looks good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. 
All right, but who's more Will Smith's age? It was, okay, uh, I just wrote in The Omega Man, and I'm like, Charlton Heston was in The Omega That's Man. We're saying. talking about The Gemini Man. The Gemini I meant Man. to write Gemini Man okay, cool. to find out the history of this project. Sorry, what were you going to say? Who Who's closer to Will Smith's age now? Like a Thomas Cruise? Not not different enough, probably. Not different enough, yeah. 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 Tony Scott was going to do it during, during the 90s. That's, I guess, the problem with, you know, Hollywood stars is they always yeah. look great and they always attempt to look youthful. Yes, that's exactly it. Okay, so these are some... This is when it was happening in the 90s, they went for... These are the names that were thrown up. Harrison Ford. You could probably just that, dye his hair at that point. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fine. But that would work good yeah. well now. Chris that O'Donnell. Would work good. It would work good now. I can't tell the difference between young Chris O'Donnell. But that's also the night. This is the night. Oh, yeah, right, right. So, right. I don't uh-huh. know. Um, Mel Gibson. Don't want Mel Gibson in anything. <laughs> John Voight. I don't know. I don't have enough young John Voight yeah, right. references. Uh, Vincent again, D'Onofrio. How about that? Yeah, that, <laughs> that's not a bad one. But again, these are 90s names. Yeah. Uh, Nicolas Cage, you just changed the wig. Uh, Clint Eastwood would be a good one. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. And Sean Connery. That's, again, a weak situation. Sean Connery, you get I away think, with it. That. But what is it? What's it? Has he retired from acting? I believe so. Okay. Uh, yeah. One of the last but things... But you know what could lure him back? A wig. A sweet and wig. Money. <laughs> and money. And money. He doesn't buy need, wigs. He doesn't need money. No, I know, but still, I get the sense. I think one of the last acting gigs he did was... He revoiced James Bond in a From Russia with Love video game remake. Oh, yeah. In like 2005. Uh huh. Okay. And the last movie, of course, was um, Alex G. Alex G, sure. From the (laughs) Alex G franchise. Yeah. Yeah, that's Uh right. So, look, man, uh, we'll see. Yeah. Will Smith needs like a a hit because he's kind of had some big swings lately and they haven't quite paid off. Aladdin could very well be that. There was some more footage yeah, this right. week and uh-huh. people are kind of warming up to it. I'm now feeling better about Aladdin than I am <laughs> okay, Lion King. So, right. But then again. Because we, the, we got the Lion King trailer again before Endgame. Yes. And a man, a me, man, doesn't, a doesn't do anything for me. No, because you because there's a little bit of nostalgia in it for me yeah, in yeah, the yeah. music. Uh-huh. But aside from that, it, I'm with you. So you don't even have that no, to that's be true. like. Yeah. What about Schwarzenegger for the uh, Gemini Man? Oh, yeah. That's not, yeah. Or Willis. Or Stallone. Willis would be so bored. No, he'd be bad. Exactly. <laughs> Stallone, Stallone, money. Would, Stallone would be good. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, I think, because we, I think we need someone who was a young and vital action star. Yes. And then, which oh, I guess... Van Damme then. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Seagal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. The Gemini Men. There we go. There's the sequel <laughs> that no one, no one is clamoring for and no one will clamor for. But just put them all in. Put them all in. Okay. Lundgren? Yeah. Maybe not famous enough, but I think he'd be good. But he, that's the thing about him, I think physically he's transformed quite a lot. Yes. Like when I think of, when I think of young Schwarzenegger or like young Van Damme. Yeah. Old, old, not Van Damme, Lundgren. Old Lundgren's quite, like when we saw him in Creed 2, he's quite, he's very broad now. Yeah. Like he's broad and kind of square jawed and in, you know, the 80s version of him. He was also narrow. that? He was, yeah, but he was quite, he was quite narrow and chiseled. Like an chiseled arrow. Chiseled face, like an arrow, yeah. Yeah, fair uh-huh. enough. Yeah. And he's more craggly now. Young Travolta. No, 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 I don't want that. Sure. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you say, don't say I'm that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's, just had enough, he's had enough chances. Yeah, so, yeah, right? He's had right. enough franchise revivals. I'm just thinking of people who've had a long career in the public eye. Yeah, okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. DiCaprio? Mm, probably not old enough. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because mm. he doesn't look that different. Like, he's probably put on a little bit of weight, but there's yeah. not that much difference. I think you're right. I think if, if he, like, really worked at it, he yeah. could... He'd he could, mostly look the same. He could youthify yeah. himself very quickly. Yeah. There you go. Uh, as far as youthifying yourself goes, Mason, yes. this is the opposite because there's a Swamp Thing trailer. Oh, yes. Where it's a man who's turned into a Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm. He's, uh, I don't know what was happening in this trailer. It just seems to me like, they, okay, they're doing kind of all-out gore, kind of a horror yeah, situation, right, uh-huh. which but I think I, But is I wasn't sure who was transforming into the Swamp Thing. I wasn't sure who was just some sort it of other kind of Swamp-based monster. It seems to be monster. that they got the, ba- the body or the remains of Alec Holland and then there's a transformation f- birthed from that. Right. But, but it I doesn't don't also know. look a lot like he's killing some innocent bystanders yes, there. Yes, but uh-huh. I wonder if there's two different Swamp Things. That's what I'm and saying. one's a bad Swamp Thing. Yeah, maybe one's a bad Swamp Thing. Yeah, mm. okay. Uh, so this didn't do anything Gemini before. Swamp Thing. Yes. Yeah. A young one and a... Mm. I don't know. A, a man? <laughs> young one and a man, yes. <laughs> okay. Correct, yes. Okay, good. What, what, about, what about this though? So this didn't... It didn't do much for me, but at the same time, I don't think that any of the Titans trailer stuff did much for me as well and i yes, really like titans that's so. a good point yeah Burp. and doom patrol had some pretty intriguing trailers bleeding that's up. true yeah uh-huh. again though i haven't seen it because they haven't <laughs> they showed haven't it here they haven't given us dc at all here. Uh-huh. but no uh and as far as trailers goes we can cap this trailer segment off mason oh, with yes. the final godzilla trailer i like these final trailers now it uh-huh. makes me feel like okay good enough uh-huh. to we'll do another trailer breakdown for this not that i did for this anyway but uh where are you at with this Looks pretty good. They apparently screened it in uh, in Tokyo. They flew a bunch of press over, including us. Huh. 
No, not us. I didn't. I was going to say we I don't get to do those things. No, no, not at all. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> what they would do is they would they would lure us onto a plane mm. and then just you know there's like there'd be like a gigantic garbage patch in the in the Pacific Ocean or whatever they just <laughs> drop us off in there. <laughs> Most likely, yes. But. Uh... This looks great. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it will be. Maybe it will be a monster overload because they said something like there's 17 monsters and how many of them you're getting right, you know what I mean, out of the the 17? Or how many can you focus on? They look good so far. I don't know. Are there really 17 monsters? They say something like that in the trailer. It's it's maybe maybe it's 12. Didn't they mean there's 17 in the world, I think? Yeah. Okay. But that's but I don't think they're what all do you think I meant? No, I don't think they're all making appearances in this movie, though. Oh, okay. I think he's only fighting... It seems to me that he's fighting... King Ghidorah and a couple of the others and, and Mothra. Mothra helps. And the idea being that he's got to, he's, because all the lesser monsters follow an alpha. Yes. Then he has to defeat the uh, the big the big dude and then, then they will all fall into line maybe. And I think maybe Mothra changes sides first. Sounds like action aplenty, Mason. Mm-hmm, correct. I just turned up your volume a little bit. Thank people, you. People may notice that in the end. How's it working now? Oh, that's bad. It's <laughs> Maybe like ha- turn it down a little. It's like having you in the room with me. And as everybody knows, <laughs> you we won't do these from se- separate studios. Exactly right. Uh-huh. I can't be dealing with you, basically, on a mm. one-to-one basis. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is this is out fairly soon. But I do, um, I guess they're going for a spectacle in this because that's how you get people into the cinemas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then with Kong, you go with kind of name recognition when they do Kong versus Godzilla. Straight right, after, uh-huh, so, sure, yeah. okay. This is a, one of the shared cinematic universes that look like it's it's well, it's working. It's, it's going to be working, so yeah. Far, yeah. <laughs> We've gotten two, so... <laughs> and Fast and Furious, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Depending uh-huh. if Hobbs and, Hobbs and Shaw is amazing, which... It Come will on. Be. It will be. <laughs> Come on, guys. I don't know, one of them's got to be the tipping point, though. I mean, that it's a franchise that's had some peaks and troughs. Yeah. You know, not all of them being great. And a lot of people don't love 2014. Which I the 2014 Godzilla, which I quite like. Oh, I was talking about Fast and Furious. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, sure. But either way, low point, super fast, not that good, not that great, is it? No, yeah. <laughs> no. But I mean, yeah, with the with the Fast and Furious franchise, maybe this is one where it drops off. We don't know. I don't think. I think this is gonna like, if anything, take it to like a different. Oh, and hold another level. Yeah, because they're putting superpowers in it apparently. Yeah, right. So the, yeah. Uh-huh. Not yeah. that I mean, they all do have superpowers anyway. It mm. seems. Uh, there was a Bond 25 live event. I didn't see it. You didn't what, have to. But what I did see was I saw, I saw like character headshots and it's like, guess who's back for Bond 25? All Daniel the su- Craig. Daniel Craig's back. <laughs> Leah Seydoux. The, the, the supporting characters yeah. from the previous ones. They're all back. Great. And cool. the big reveal was, uh, Rami Malek. Yes. But we knew that. We did It would that. already been leaked. Mm-hmm. And then I, I was watching the live event and I actually turned it off. Oh, I was like, I don't. It's also bad timing. Like, it's not a good word. Like, the Bond, <laughs> really, Bond oh, is no. obviously a huge franchise. It's had more movies than than the Marvel movies that franchise. we've made. Yeah, yes. Uh-huh. That being said, it's it's not a good week for it. You yeah, know? right. And it kind of, and there wasn't enough reveals in this to be interesting. The the, the big reveals I took I took from it was Rami Malek was confirmed. Mm-hmm. Uh they're going to be filming in Jamaica, which they made yeah. a big deal of because that's where um, what's his name, the Doctor No, 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 the, the Ian Fleming, the Ian Fleming. He lived, lived for a long time. For a long yeah. time in his gold yeah. finger bloody palace. Golden eye, yes. Gold, no, what do you know what I'm talking about? Gold finger palace, gold yes. Goldfinger finger palace, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really. I'm a huge Bond fan. Mason, I know you are. Yeah. But, and the other thing. And obviously Desmond Llewellyn is back as Q. Yes. He's been a... dead for a long time, but they've 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 cracked it. Yes. But Who the... knew? But I mean, Endgame's out and people are like, I don't even care that we can bring people back from the dead now. Yeah, exactly. I don't care. And the third thing was, it was a non-announcement because they said, well, as people will know, we never announced the, the title this early on, so we won't be announcing the title. And it's like, well, what what is this then? <laughs> I don't care if you're filming in Jamaica. Yeah, right. Nobody cares. You feel, I mean, all, yeah, I mean, it's like... They film in exotic locations all the time. Exactly. In every it movie. It would be more surprising if they went, we're doing it in this warehouse. <laughs> right. Yep. That's it. We're doing it in Dubbo. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> we're doing it at the Rundle Mall in Adelaide. Yeah. We're doing it at Croydon Station. Yeah. It's a local reference. We're doing it at Cranbourne. <laughs> That's right. So, I just... And so, when you don't have We're a... doing it at Ch- a Chuka Moama on the border. <laughs> yeah, on the border. It's, uh, it's not... I mean, it didn't really make any waves because it didn't really tell us anything. Yeah. And that's not to say that this movie won't be great. Uh, there's some good people involved in it. Mm-hmm. And it's the 25th one, so they probably... Well, they would normally pull out all the stops, but they will continue to do so. It's got a mm-hmm. good director. But mm-hmm. I just, like, to announce... To do a special live event and then don't even announce the title. 
Yeah, right. I think the, cause the, <laughs> the Broccoli family kind of control all things Bond, all things PR, what happens with the brand, any spin-offs that they mm-hmm. pretend they're going to do and then cancel, like the yeah. Jinx spin-off. Yeah, of from, course. Yeah, yeah, that's still happening, though. Oh, yeah, it's still, still happening. happening. Hallie Berry's on board. Yeah. She's signed up. I think there Ten are, picture deals. Yes, I think she's are, like Bond, but she's sexier. That's right, and, I get it. And it's great. I remember that was a good movie. Oh, my God. It was so much potential, yeah. I said. Mm-hmm. But I just, I think they're a bit out of the loop. I think they need some kind of... Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Some, an outside person to come in and go, things have changed. We're in a, we're in a post-MCU world. Yeah, and Bond is nothing but reactionary, albeit late, to whatever the trend is <laughs> yeah, of the right. day. Uh-huh. Yeah, And these guys are still doing Jason Bourne films for a lot of this stuff. So. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, whatever. Mm-hmm. Some of the Craig ones are good. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, so mm. there you go. Uh, here we go. This is exciting news. You're going to love this, Mason. I'm ready. This is via Collider. Yes. This the X Men Dark Phoenix has undergone some changes. Oh, I know what this is. Can I guess what this is? <laughs> Please do. So, as I understand it, during reshoots, yes, they changed the final action sequence in yep. the third act from outer space, yes. to a train. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Incredible work. So here we Who go. Who wants to be out in space when you can be looking at a train? A thing I see every day. <laughs> That's a, a Croydon station. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the filmmakers decided to revamp the look of the Phoenix mm-hmm. in post. More cosmic and less flamey, according to the director. Okay. That might be a, uh, maybe a Captain Marvel kind of reaction. Maybe, reaction yeah. Because mm-hmm. she's kind of more cosmic than flamey, isn't she? Yes. And shoot a new third act, instead of taking place in space, the climax of the, uh, the finds all the X-Men kidnapped and on board a military train. Ooh. Well, it's a military train, isn't it? Well, that's pretty good. I've never seen one of those, I guess. Yeah. Except in any of the previous X-Men movies. Sure. Of which it's in all of them, I think. At least <laughs> it's, it's the one train. Yes. At least it's not in a forest. I want to see the story of that guy. Yeah. The guy driving the train. <laughs> <laughs> big day you know what I mean for yeah. no yeah. yeah for sure every every time he's just like yep time to I mean I'm making a steering wheel motion but he's on a train yeah absolutely <laughs> but also like this would happen at least probably once a week to him he'd be on the train and then he'd see up ahead that somebody step out onto the tracks and yeah, he's like oh like... for fuck's sake exactly <laughs> the train's gonna flip isn't it yeah, that's right <laughs> <laughs> he just <sighs> puts his seatbelt on yeah that's right <laughs> The only question he has every time, is the train going to go into the person and just crumple? <laughs> yeah. Or is the person going to lift the train with their, pe- their mind powers? Either What's way, happen? he's not. Is the, is, the, is, the, is the person on the tracks going to open a portal and then the train ends up in the snow? Yeah. Like, what's going to happen this time, <laughs> you know? He's got two manuals next to him on by his seat. He's got the train operation manual, which is like an inch thick. And then he's got what happens if a mutant steps in front of your train <laughs> manual, which is like six inches thick. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. He's flipping through. And he's like, okay, he's got scales. All right, here we go. It's got... Could be a sticky man. He could stick to the side. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. I don't mind that. <laughs> There's a series of numbers, phone numbers to call on the side. You just leap out. Yeah, you would. It's true. Just leap out. Yeah. Yep. When he got the job, he's like, why is there a parachute <laughs> on the side of this? What's this for? Oh. Well, what's probably going to happen is you're going to look 99% of the time on your first day, and it's just don't even worry about it, but on your first day, you're going to be going over a really, really tall suspension bridge and somebody's going to use their lava powers to melt the supports and the train's going to fall off. So just if you see that happening, if you see if you see the suspensions in front of you just sort of turn glowy red and start to melt, just get on the parachute on and leap off the side of the bridge. Don't even worry about everybody else. <laughs> That's not your responsibility. Yeah, they're all it, criminal yeah. mutants probably. It's, a, it's like if you work at a service station, if it's being robbed, yep. it's not your money. You can just hand it over. Hand it's it fine. Over, yeah. It's uh-huh. absolutely fine. Yeah. yeah, You do not get paid enough for this. Mm. I do wonder though whether... I mean, obviously they're doing this to make it better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So maybe it's, it's not just... like one of the executives has something against space. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. They uh-huh. see well, leading up to this movie. I, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised though if they're like, well, look, it's just her up in space. Shooting fire or... At empty space yeah. and voids. Yeah. And then there's a ship. And they, they're probably like, well, it's it's hard to ground this in reality. Yes. It just looks like two objects flying around at random. Yeah, absolutely. So how about yeah. we ground it on Earth? Yeah. And there's some stakes and there's a... Train. There's a train. Yeah. And the train driver's... He's finally on lunch and he's just, you know, at the cafe at the end of the line and then the train gets diverted and he has to run. Great. You know? I'm excited. But what were you going to say? I, that was it. Okay, that's cool. all I have yeah. to say. I'm uh-huh. saying it could be for the better. Mm. Sure. We've never seen a train before. We've seen so many trains. It's in every single one of them. I don't know if we've seen... There's definitely one in the first one. We've there's seen, one in... We've seen transport, mutant transports a lot there's of. There's definitely one in... Day, there's, there's one in Days of Future Past. Is there? Yeah, because it's got the Sentinels in it. 
or whatever. Oh, yeah. Either you use a magnet or use the Sentinels yeah. to something. I don't know. And there's a truck escape in both X Men Three and Deadpool Two. Yeah, a mm-hmm. mutant truck. Yeah. So uh-huh. that's really good. Yeah, it's good. Excellent. Uh, leading right into Endgame, though, we've got news on One Division. Uh, it's still the worst name. Give it a different name. What are you thinking, One Division? What do you call it then? Long Division. I think that's unrelated, though, isn't it? It is unrelated. When yeah. people get confused, and also I think it's something I said last time we yeah. mentioned this. I don't think anyone would click on a, on a Disney Plus show called Long, Long Division. Division, right? You know but that's mean? it. It's the sleeper hit. Yeah. If you know, you know. Okay, that's you know what enough. I mean. I can get. Yeah. I can get behind that. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about this a bit later. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's basically a six-hour show, and this was an interview. Seems a bit long. Yeah, it does. This mm-hmm. was an interview with uh, Elizabeth Olsen, who plays One Division. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and oh, you know what? They get married. They could get married. So, so it's about her. She's a she's yeah. a young woman in the city, and she's like, oh, "My me, name Wanda- first. Yeah, it's me, yeah. Wanda Vision. Wanda Vision. Mm-hmm. And it's got a uh, well, she said like a 1950s aesthetic because she saw a picture of them and that they're making a home together. And it's oh. it sounds a lot like that Vision comic of yeah. late, which was mm-hmm. quite good. And a lot of sites reported this as it's set in the 50s. Of course, they did. I don't think it's set in the 50s. Why would it I be? mean? You could sure in- introduce time travel or whatever, but I think it's more likely that. They're going with that kind of aesthetic. Then the vision does look good in a sweater vest. He though. looks great in a sweater vest. He would mate. Be, he, you would you wouldn't even notice him back in the fifties. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't notice his big purple head. Uh-huh. Some people say uh, red. I think we decided yep. on beetroot. Was that right? I think in we decided end? on beetroot. Yes. Yeah, I'm not happy yeah. with it, but I'm willing to compromise. And that's what marriage is about. That's and right. Podcasting. Yeah. And one division. One division. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. One division. Carry the one to your heart. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll see how that's going. But six hours is good. But yep. I think that's because I think that was the mistake of a lot of the Netflix shows. They yep. went forever, mm-hmm. and we want six hours of quality content. Yeah, definitely. So that's got, apparently going to debut with Disney Plus. Okay, in right. uh, November, and whenever we get it. Yeah, which in could be twenty twenty three. Yeah, but speaking of anyway, it's time to it's time to talk about the 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 thing that's, that's made the most waves this week mm. in the social media universe, mm. and that's big sandwiches. Yes, we're going to pivot entirely to a big sandwich based <laughs> podcast. We're going to talk about big sandwiches. <laughs> we're going to look at big sandwich based memes. We appreciate the people who made their own big sandwiches. Mm-hmm. People who uh, sent us pictures of big sandwiches. People yep. who use jokes and memes and created all those different things. Basically, for those who, who are not in the know, uh, my son came in. Uh, no less than three times last week demanding a big sandwich demanding that's right <laughs> and I had to stop the podcast to go make him a big sandwich yeah three times people also want to know what was the big sandwich mm. should I reveal it no okay let me let me just be clear mm. big yeah yeah <laughs> and that's all you need to that's know that's all you need to know yeah oh here's some other things you might need to know okay. this week I was on a whole bunch of podcasts oh yes what do you got uh, this week I was on uh, uh, Dugon's uh, live mm. show spectacular I really want to listen to that apparently it's very good we talked about Vegemite that's yes. up on their feed right now mm. uh, let's see uh, uh, Matt Stewart's uh, Primates I was on yes. that a couple of weeks ago but I forgot to mention it but here we are we talked about Project X the Matthew Broderick monkey film a movie I'd never heard of Oh, I'd heard of it. I yeah. thought it was much sadder than it. Okay. I thought it was a much grim, like a grim, gritty film, but it's not. It's like a fun family film. I love fun family film. Fun family film. Fun. But also, I was on a, uh, my friends Luke and uh, Paul's uh, podcast, What's Life? What is life? Paul, uh, listeners might know Paul Squirter McWhirter as a big <laughs> dumb, dumb super fan. Anyway, I was on his podcast, uh, and it, uh, each week they go through the That's Life, which is uh, like a... Uh, a I like, guess it's Lifestyle Slash Lies magazine. Yeah, it's like one of those... It? It's like one of those... like tabloid magazines that you get at like the the line at the supermarket or what have you and it's filled and all with... the stories are made up yeah for sure yeah yeah they're not they're not even celebrity based it's just someone writes in a letter and it's and it's just it's just clearly Full of lies, not yeah. true it's just advice columns written to by people who are lying and advice is provided by people yes. who are lying or they're also written by people who work for the magazine yes exactly but, anyway we got we yeah. went through an issue of that's life magazine i had a great time so i think that's probably on it's on itunes and spotify i'd imagine just I called no what's doubt. life What's life? What's life, okay, yeah. excellent. Mm-hmm. Three great things. Three great things. Excellent. Speaking of great things, or is it? Uh, Avengers Endgame. Can we talk box office first? Yes. Some people will care about this. Uh, by Friday in the US, this movie had made $156.7 million. And when did it come out? Uh, it came out technically Thursday, I guess. Okay. But, uh, the, but by Friday, yeah, it had made... Yeah, that's wow. that's quite a lot. It's pretty, that's pretty impressive. That's normally the box office weekend for a very, very big film. Yes. Uh, they reckon the opening weekend in the US alone is going to be $300 million plus. Seems like a lot. Which will shatter the previous record, which was Infinity War, which was... 
257-ish, I want to uh-huh. say off the top of my head. Yeah, right. And this this movie worldwide will probably b- break a, a billion dollars in its opening weekend. That's a lot of money. Yeah, so these just aren't like... This is the biggest movie. This is the biggest opening of all time. It will be. Mm-hmm. I don't have... The final numbers aren't in as of yet. There's room for wiggle there. Oh, yeah. A little bit of wiggle. If you room. want that. Yeah. Uh, whether or not it could beat like Titanic or Avatar, which has the highest of all time over an extended period of time. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Remains to be seen. Maybe the, the run length will work against it for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, those two th- films had things working for them. For one, the ticket prices of Avatar had to be 3D. And also, oh, had, yeah, it also sure. had like the December run up until like March. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, yeah, run. yeah. So... And Titanic was just a phenomenal phenomenon. Phen- it was a phenomenon. <laughs> yes, it culturally. was. Culturally. It was something like yeah. a phenomenon. Uh, this, this will hit two billion though. Is, uh, All right, then. Cool. I would say almost certainly. <laughs> That's your hit prediction. Would you uh, would you want this to beat Avatar, or do you not care because they're all corporate entities and it doesn't? <laughs> Close to the second one, to be honest. Sure. And what 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 difference does it make to me if you get it... to brag, mate? Oh, do I? Because <laughs> yeah. my team's the winner. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. I mean, the difference between this and Avatar is that. That all these films have different strategies for getting as far as they did. And for mm-hmm. this one, it's 11 years of fairly consistent films. That's true, yeah. And I think what helped it a lot was the last one was a cliffhanger. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And that sure. gets everybody back in, uh-huh. back into cinemas. Do you, think that, do, you think that, do you think that maybe that's going to be a pivot? Do you think every... I think other people look, will attempt it. Yeah, for sure. But the thing about the Marvel movies are there's always hints towards the next thing. Yeah. But there's not many flat-out cliffhangers. No, that's true, yeah. There's a, maybe Ragnarok... Leading, but again, that leads that was into this. Heavily leading into it, yeah. Uh-huh. So uh, there's, there's, but yeah, it's normally not like the end of Iron Man two, and then it's you know, and then Iron Man explodes, and you're like, what's going to happen to Iron Man? <laughs> what's going to happen to him? And at the after the credits, it's like he exploded. He's dead now. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Uh, anyway, what do you think the story was? Oh no! Yeah, gotcha. Well, at the end of Infinity War, the Avengers are in a bit of a pickle, aren't they? Because mm. half of the population of the universe was. It was it turned to dust. Yes, it's a bit sad, isn't it? For some, what are they going to do? They get they're going to get Thanos. They're going to get him. Some people just want to get on with it. Yeah. And some people want to get Thanos. That's right. Is that really all we can say? As far as I story think it is. On, yeah. So I guess, yeah. yeah. We did a non-spoiler review pretty much when we came straight out of the, the movie. Yeah. That's on my YouTube channel. It's uh, it's titled. Avengers Endgame reaction <laughs> ten exclamation points. And it's both of our faces looking Going shocked. Like, Goo! <laughs> Goo! Look, Mason, I'm no stranger to clickbait. I'm no I'm not <laughs> I'm not one to uh make fun of others for what for their particular YouTube thumbnail practices. All the uh, all your videos, the last like half a dozen have all just been Captain Marvel explodes. <laughs> ten exclamation <laughs> Feminism? points. Feminism Feminism <laughs> Captain Marvel, get out of here. <laughs> Yeah. Disney buys all the tickets for Captain Marvel. <laughs> I mean, even Captain if, Marvel nude? Yeah, even if you hate Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, Marvel you hate her, but she's nude. <laughs> even if you hate Captain Marvel, yeah. you can't get around the fact it made a billion dollars. You absolutely can't. It's no. just the reality of Unless it. Unless Disney bought all That's the tickets, That's actually a good obviously. point. I didn't even think of that. You didn't that. think maybe they probably did that for some reason, <laughs> you know? Yeah. They sent guys to every cinema <laughs> and just bought all the tickets. That must be it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so that spoiler review, no, not spoiler free review is up, and we're going to recap some things here, obviously, in a bit more, a little bit more kind of in depth. Yes. Uh, we're going to go spoiler free and then spoilers, and that will be in, in the description, um, in the time codes again. But again, and I cannot stress this enough, if you do not want to know anything, just skip all skip of this. Skip this. Also, yeah. skip to the end of the podcast, because this is probably going to be, once we hit spoilers, it's going to go all the way to the end. Probably, some... probably through letters and, yeah. and what we read. And... Exactly. And we'll just probably let some off at the end. We'll let some. Absolutely, we yeah, will. Exactly. So, yeah. What, what, what I would recommend you do mm. is play this, download this episode, play it, turn the volume down so we still get the download. <laughs> Please, we need that. We need, we need the, the download. We need it. let yeah. us down. Yeah, yeah. if you couldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, now you've had a, a bit, a bit less than a week to kind of sit on it. Less than less than to a week. I it. watched it twice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, did you also watch it twice? I didn't get an opportunity. I mentioned this in the review coming out of it. I was going to see it the next day, and I'm like, it's a lot. I'm going to. Yeah. Wait. Right. But yeah. now I'm kind of I'm I'm really interested to see it again. I'm going yeah, to go right. definitely mm-hmm. see it again this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, has, has your opinion changed from this? I think it has. I think my problem is. Uh, because we go through these when when the trailers come, every single trailer comes out, and we break it down second by second, yeah. and every single reference, and then we make assumptions about what's going to happen, and then maybe we have a plan in our brains as to how the movie's going to sure. go. I think the first time I view a movie on this scale, 
I think a part of my brain's like, well, this isn't quite what I'm looking for. Yeah, right. Or it's okay. like, well, the, I'm, I'm focusing what it, on what it isn't. Yes. Like, oh, I thought, okay, maybe this character would appear or maybe this thing would happen and yeah. it didn't happen. And that's a little bit disappointing because we've thought about it and I've yeah. had, built an idealized version. Sure. And I think in the second time around, when I know the plot, I'm, I'm, I'm better you inclined. You kind of settle into I'm it a bit more. inclined yeah. to focus on what it is. Yes, And right. so I think I enjoyed it more the second time, yeah. yeah. I think I also enjoyed it more the second time. Uh <laughs> No, sorry. More, I thought about it more. <laughs> oh, the more you I thought about it. Because it. it was quite okay. overwhelming. Which is it, James? No, like coming out of it, it's quite overwhelming. It's, yeah. it's a, which again, as I explained in the review, um, is why it's hard to do a review kind of straight out of a movie. Yeah. And but, also, it's three hours long. Three hours long, exactly. And if you if you stop paying attention for a second or two, yeah. you might miss a plot point. There's definitely some things. And that, so yeah, I came out of that going, there, there are some miss- are there some loose ends they didn't yeah. tie up on this. Not that you have to tie up every loose end. No, but I don't think there's... Well, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll have to get into spoilers for what you're <laughs> Almost instantly. About. Okay, but well, yeah. what can we talk about? No, okay, so hap- I think... There's some changes to some characters. Well, yes. All characters experience changes in they narratives, sure do. don't they? Yeah. I think I can see how some people wouldn't like particular characterizations because if you have a particular version of a character that mm-hmm. you like yep. or you want to see, like you said, see a character do a certain thing, yes. you might not like that. But all of them, even though they weren't necessarily what I expected, I think uh-huh. for the most part worked for me. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, again, like watching it the first time, I feel like some of the scene trans- transitions were quite jarring. Mm. Like when we go to certain, when we go to meet certain characters or certain characters are introduced or reintroduced from previous movies, yes. I think they carried on their, their a certain vibe or a certain tone from those movies. Yes. And, and that to me felt kind of jarring because you'd have a lot of very serious stuff happening. And then we, this character's coming from this wacky franchise and yes. there's a wacky thing that's happening. And I yeah. felt, initially I felt that was kind of jarring. But again, once I knew where it was going yeah. second time around, I'm like, oh, okay, this, is, this isn't as yeah. sharp a left turn as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, and I think that's also the problem with some of these movies in general. If you, the, They don't always strike, strike the right balance of humour and mm-hmm. the more serious stuff. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. And yeah, sure, that, that, I could see how that would, could be a problem for some people in, in, in these movies. But I think on the, on the whole, the humour in this worked pretty well uh, some uh-huh. of it, there's like some some of it being callbacks and mm-hmm. which again i probably can't talk about there's a because there is <laughs> look okay hold up, what about this it's very uh nostalgia heavy in parts yes in relation to things that have come before yep uh, a lot of nods to things that have happened and characters yep. appearing and reappearing and referenced and whatever uh-huh. did you think it was too heavy-handed for that you know what it, I, th- I i don't think Again, it's a comic book universe. Yeah. And I think that, you know, a little bit of fan service is good fun. Yes. Sometimes you'd, you'd have in this, some, but like speaking as a very, as a, as a, as a cynical nitpicker, yeah. I think sometimes. And a dumbass. Yeah, and a I dumbass to both of those things yeah. are working against me. But like, you know, this a cynical person, you know, part of me would be like, okay, that character just referenced a thing he said 10 years ago. Yeah. Like he used the same phrasing from 10 years ago. How's he going to remember that? Yeah, How's right. he going to remember that interaction he had with other, that other guy 10 years ago kind of thing? People remember things, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I know, but I meant... But so, and but, they filmed it. There was, it's in a movie. <laughs> it You've is, probably seen it too. It is in a movie, that's true. Yeah. But then I'm like, well, yeah, it's just all in fun. And again, yeah. we, you know, it, it had, it's happened twice. Yeah, absolutely. Don't, just, just let it go. Yeah. Uh, I think it's... The, the nostalgia moments in this are very much put in a specific part of the movie. Uh-huh, and then sure. they kind of move away from it. There's yeah, like a right. moment where that happens for uh-huh. a particular reason. Yep. And I think because they kind of put it in one block and it yep. doesn't really spill over either side of that, yep. then it, it works for me. I, I, I felt the callbacks kind of rewarding because, yeah, right, because uh-huh. I have watched yes. 21 films <laughs> prior to this uh-huh. over 11 years, mm-hmm. you know? So the, re- the reappearance of characters in certain lines kind of felt to me like, Hey, you've been paying attention, so here's a little yeah, he's thing. It didn't yeah. feel it didn't feel too because yeah. this movie again. I think I'm sure I said this about Infinity War. It's incomprehensible. I think you could enjoy <laughs> it on just like it's jokes and action. I think you could yeah. enjoy it on that. And level. it looks spectacular. Yeah. I just want to. Uh, there are some great. There are some wide shots in this, especially yeah. of space and of battles. Well, and, and we saw my Max as well, which made that's a, true. Yeah, but even in the because I saw it regular, yeah. regular screen. Regular I saw it Max. in one division. Yes, uh, the second time around, and it still looked great. Like Ollie. Know, don't like the table. There's some like you know, so there's some like establishing shots of the battles and that sort of stuff, and it yeah. just looks incredible. I think there's some stuff that um I don't like about the way it looks in particular. Um, I think they have tweaked some, some things, things. To, to the better. Uh, Iron Man's nanotech suit. Yeah, good. They they learned their lesson. I like the coloring on that new suit as uh-huh. well. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, we see this in the trailers. They've got new Avengers outfits. They do. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? 
well, without giving too much away, mm. I, I, I understand why they're there for the purpose of that, but yeah. I kind of hate them. Yeah, I don't like them either that much, <laughs> yeah. But, but we'll it, never see them again. So they're on and off and as well. Yeah, they, exactly. They're yeah. nano stuff so they can completely disappear and uh-huh, whatever yeah. you're wearing underneath is yeah, uh-huh. will, will, will show. But yeah, uh, I, I like the surprises in this though. I think uh-huh. there were some... I like being... Um, I like that the marketing was so sparse in terms of footage they showed. Yes. Some misdirects in the footage. Not as much as I thought. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. I thought there were some fake scenes that they made mm-hmm. for the trailers which actually ended up being in the movie. Uh-huh. Uh... But I, I liked, I enjoyed being surprised for a lot of this. Yes, there were right. some things leading up that uh, you kind of see coming as it's unfolding. But yeah, that right, wasn't, right. That wasn't like, oh, but they're doing this. You it know what more... I felt with the with the first first viewing of this? I think it was that the 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 narrative was kind of simpler than I was expecting it to be. Okay. And I look at you know if they in, in realistically if they'd added another layer of complexity. I think I probably would have been totally lost, but I yeah. think it's because we went in expecting, okay, you know, because we're, we're given a million theories as to what's going to happen. I think you build in the most complicated one you can think of. And I think that, you know, ultimately the, what, the narrative that we got was quite, it's quite simple and straightforward, I but think. But it's also when you scratch the surface of it yeah. and they do a lot of hand-waving yes. concerning it, uh-huh. it's quite complicated. Mm. Not that you really need to really look in it that much, you don't have to, but... There's some stuff in here. I know people say a lot of the times, and we've said this, like these movies are for kids. Yeah. I can't imagine a kid wanting to sit through this. No, 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 no. It's so long. Yeah. Like that alone. There's been a lot of memes this week about, well, if you're, if you're, you know, if you bring your kid in, he better not talk because it's a bloody, it's a bloody, you shouldn't be, you should be, you shouldn't, he hasn't put in the hours of Avengers, whatever, you blah, blah, blah. Shut and, up. And then other people have said, oh, yeah, well, you, well, you know, they are movies for kids. But at the same time, this kind of isn't a movie for no, kids. No, it's not. But I, I, I'm, look, I'm all for bringing a kid to, a kid to a movie like this. I'm not talking like a five year old. A five year old would probably shoot themselves after watching this. Oh yeah. But I think if you bring like an eight to ten year old and they're having a good time. Sure, yeah. That's okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Cause these movies, like they you know, this would work for an older kid up mm-hmm. to a up to a very old man. Yeah. Yeah. Or woman. Oh yeah. Or a fish. Yeah. That sure. enjoys film. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because it's got I mean, the brain of a exa- yeah. um a smarter fish. Oh you cool. That's great. Incredible. <laughs> yes. It did because well you haven't seen it again but no. um having seen it the second time and I'm I'm curious to hear about other people's experience of this the cinema to me the second time around was just the wild west like really? there were people just openly texting on their phones and people talking and did and... you go to the one near where you'd normally go yeah really yeah it surprises me I know yeah but I, I I'm curious about that because I I think people are like well it's time to hunker down for three hours I yeah. better get. Better make my, I better let my parents know I'm still alive. Bringing in I'm their better... own bean bags. Yeah, and... exactly. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because the screening was pretty quiet. Not it was quiet. Not, yeah. Like dead quiet, but because it was media and Instagram influences. Yeah. Well, that's true. Exactly. Mm. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. So here's some characters that I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed the arcs of both Captain America and Tony Stark. Oh yes. I enjoyed the the way that the combination of their stories. Mm-hmm. I also thought that uh, Nebula's story, a character I've never really. Thought about, about on any about. level, yep. Mm-hmm. Was really good in this. Great, yeah. Uh-huh. Kind of gets a fair bit of play. Yes. If you love or hate Captain Marvel as well, let me tell you, she's she's in some of it, but not that much. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Is that a spoiler? Um. Well, at this point, we I think we've learned this week that at this point, anything is a spoiler. Yes. Some people on I've seen people on Twitter say, I've, I've seen some people on Twitter say, oh man, I loved I loved Endgame, and then people saying, well now you've ruined it for me. Yes. Because the idea that you would enjoy it makes me think of certain things that you would enjoy, and therefore I figured out a spoiler mm. kind of thing. So you know, how I put the um, I, I made a, a video on the post credits and what that means. I'm yes. not going to spoil it here, but the thumbnail is literally like credits, uh-huh. and that's it. Uh huh. And it says Avengers Endgame post credits ending right uh-huh. in the title. Yes. And you click on the video, oh, yes. and at the start it says spoilers. Yeah. And I still have people like, <laughs> you didn't say, you didn't say it was a spoiler. Look, like, first of all, I said it was a spoiler. Uh-huh. Second of all, why the fuck are you clicking on a video that says <laughs> post credits? Uh-huh. What are you doing? Right? That's your fault. Yeah, I agree. Unless the algorithm sent them there. But even, even then, so, that's not stay I'm, off YouTube. Just get off it. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. So there you bloody go. Uh-huh. Uh huh. 
Okay, there's a giant battle in it. How about yep, this? Yeah, you, you better believe it. I thought it was looked very... Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. The movie Avengers Endgame, based on the Marvel Cinematic <laughs> Universe franchise, which is almost exclusively giant battles, yes. has a... And this is the ultimate one, has a big battle in yes. it. Yes. Surprise, idiots. I thought it was very similar aesthetically yes. to the Titan battle from the last one. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, I didn't sure. think it looked... Like it, it wasn't was taking a, it place wasn't in a, a real very world? Interesting, no, not even that. I just didn't think it was very interesting. Okay, right. Uh, looking. I mean, it was an interesting battle. Yes. And who was in it and what was happening. Yes, uh-huh. And it was also shorter than the other one, which I also appreciate. Yeah, right, uh-huh. I, and I probably enjoyed it more. I just think it could have looked... I mean, it was a slightly different colour sky. But yeah, it's just right. mostly <laughs> just junk and... <laughs> just yeah, right. And whatever. Uh-huh. Sure, yeah. And things flying about. So, mm-hmm. anyway, yeah, right. that's just... That's yeah, me. Yeah, okay. But other than that, I thought it looked great. Okay. There's some de-aging going on, and some was better yeah, than others, but in general, it's, it's pretty yeah, good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and before spoilers, i got one more thing to say. Okay. You're a real son of a bitch, Mason. Me? <laughs> I know. I really liked... For the... what reason? I'm not <laughs> denying it, but tell me why. I really liked the... The families and friendship elements that they kind of went yeah, through right, in this, uh-huh. like the the thing that makes these movies for me is is that these characters interacting in interesting ways. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I guess that's any movie could be yep. said for any movie, but uh-huh. the franchise doesn't get this long by yep. you being interested if two characters who used to hate each other or still hate each other are having a conversation or you know something happens to their family or friends or whatever and yeah, you know, right. you're invested in it and i think that stuff really worked for me and there's quite a bit of it in this there is for, yeah. for multiple characters yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. um would you say you are satisfied by this movie yes yeah i think we've uh, people have like people are like you guys seem a little lukewarm in this i really like this movie yeah, i think it's too. great uh-huh. i think it's great too it's again it's an amazing feat that they've made it this yeah. far they've tied everything in at the end there's 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 very few loose ends. I think it's it looks great. I think it's though because we don't send out tweets that are like, oh my god, the yeah, culmination right. of eleven years, and I never thought I'd. <laughs> what this is this is the cinematic experience of. It's just it's a very good movie. It's a good movie, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> uh-huh. and I really like yeah, it. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm. everything looks real good, real nice. Yes. And with that being said, I'm going to say best movie yes, ever. Best movie ever. And you're a real son of a bitch. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's spoilers. talk spoilers. All right. Okay. I, I guess the biggest element of the story that I guess we guessed and everybody guessed uh, is that it's a, it's a time travel movie. Yeah, right. Time uh-huh. heist, they call it. It's a time it. heist, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, they solve time travel fairly quickly. <laughs> they really do. They really just knock you it gotta out keep, of the park. you got to keep yeah. it moving. So yeah, well, you'd think Tony Stark would have done that already. Well, the but I guess I guess here's the thing though. I look, I'm willing, absolutely willing to forgive that. Yeah. Because Tony Stark never figured out the quantum size changing manipulation. Yeah. Like he's that's a, that's a puzzle he never cracked. He never got it from Pym either. He made yeah. sure he didn't get it from him. Yeah. So yeah. I so you know I guess the idea would be that Tony Stark may have figured this out years ago if he had that technology, but yes. he doesn't have it. Yeah. And so given that. It's it's then being presented to him. Yeah, he can then figure it out fairly quickly. Because the yeah. way it happens is, uh, you know, this is just me talking through it. People know this. Yeah, you're right. But uh-huh. Scott Lang gets out of the quantum realm via a, the, a rat. A, a rat, the the biggest hero of the MCU. Uh-huh. He's been gone five years. Yeah, he goes. Couldn't there have been a, a better solution? Two rats. Yeah, two rats. You want exactly. multiple rats fighting? Two, no, rats, two fight. rats fight. But no, I, I mean, like, I, I think I'm you think th- it's too much down to chance. No, yeah, exactly. I think it would have been. It's, I think maybe that was the first thing where I'm like, no, mm, I would have. This, this isn't what I was looking for. And again, like that's that's the last Jedi syndrome. It's like, well, this isn't quite what I'm. You know, I'm shocked that somebody impounded that van with Scott Lang's stuff. I guess his family did it. Maybe, yeah, because uh-huh. they just assumed that he was dead along with. Half of it yeah, right, else. right, right. Yeah. But, but but I I feel like it would I think that element would have been and I guess I guess the idea is that Scott Lang's kind of a dumbass. Yeah. But I think it would have been more satisfying if he made him his way out. Yes, he found I agree. his way out of yep. the, the quantum realm, and he I wasn't agree. accidentally ejected from it. Yeah, you know, because he was only there five hours, and that's long enough for him to figure something out. Yeah, exactly. He kind Even of he was away yeah. for five years. He also goes from being quite intelligent to kind of being a bit player. After the time travel's figured out. Like, yeah, they right. use him, yes. but he's a lot... He comes up with the idea, yep. and it's his idea to go to Stark. And then there's points where Rocket Raccoon's just like, you're an idiot, stay out of it. You don't <laughs> yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, right, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. But, so when, but so he so they he goes, we'll do, we'll do a time heist. Uh-huh. And then they go to Stark, or Banner and Stark. Uh-huh. And they don't give him any of the information or data to Tony mm-hmm. Stark or what their plan is. Yeah. But I guess he's got access to S.H.I.E.L.D. files. Yeah, right. And he uh-huh. figures it out in... Maybe, maybe they 30 give him, seconds. Maybe they give him a drive or they something. They might have given him a drive, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, actually, side note, what what was your uh what surprised you most 
in this movie? Was it Professor Hulk or was it Unfit Thor? <laughs> Uh, definitely unfit Thor. Uh-huh. Yeah, Professor Hulk. I kind of saw yeah, I kind coming. of yeah. We figured that was happening. Yeah, uh, but no, it was definitely unfit Thor because they really hid that. They really did. It's yeah, true. Yeah, it was okay. Well, which one do you want to talk about first? Uh uh Hulk looks great. By the way, he does, and he does a dab. Which I think- <laughs> Five years later than now. Yep, which makes it even older than. than- yeah, but he- that's the point, isn't it? Yeah, right. Because uh-huh. he's kind of uncool, and yeah, right. I-, I do enjoy that bit where Ant Man's. What wants to know if they want a selfie or whatever. Uh-huh. I enjoy those bits because it's such a packed movie and you're spending 30 seconds to a minute on this joke that doesn't even need to be. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. I kind of enjoy that uh-huh. that waste time on something yeah, right. just uh-huh. as innocuous as that. Yeah, sure. But no, that the Professor Hulk, Professor Hulk looks great. Yes. And it also kind of makes sense with the evolution of that character. Yeah. I guess right. the only thing is he doesn't really play a role in the final battle. No, that's true, yeah. Uh, so uh-huh. if you're looking for him to kind of tear through Thanos, you won't. You oh, he don't doesn't. Get yeah, he that. doesn't. He yeah. doesn't strictly speaking get his yeah. revenge. I would have kind of. But liked I guess a he's a character. A rematch, but, but yeah, I guess mm. that's true. But I guess you know, you know, I, he's. I feel like the character is. He's moved on from that. I think mm. like that part. Part of the transformation yeah, it, is that he's moved on from being defeated. Yeah. I don't think it bothered him as much as it bothered the three that went up against him. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Initially, yeah. Mm-hmm. But okay, Fat Thor. Yes. Uh, it's a it's a big old joke. Yes. He's got a big old rubber belly. Uh-huh. Like clearly incredibly ripped underneath. Still, still. underneath, uh-huh. yeah. I when we talked about this after, I thought he was gonna get ripped. Yeah. Like his mother would do some magic or he it or- it, it, it call like his hammer would make him ripped. Yeah, when make he gets him his ripped hammer. again, yeah. Uh-huh. But and he doesn't I, get anything, he just gets that braided yeah, beard. I admire like for even if you liked it or didn't, that they just stuck with it. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. He's just big Thor for the whole I thing. I also feel like that is a more traditional Illust- depiction of Thor, like not the com- not the not Marvel's the Mighty Thor, yeah. but like Thor in in mythology. Yeah, he's just a big fat guy, like a he's really strong. Kind yeah, of yeah, exactly. Yeah, kind yeah. Of thing. yeah. Uh-huh. But he'll be ripped again in his next. Oh yeah, for sure. Adventure, but yeah. no, I I I mean, he could still fight, and he was still strong. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think Thor carrying an extra forty kilo would make that much difference to him anyway. No, that's true. So because he could, you know, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's strong. Still, he's strong, regardless. Yeah, but again, that's that's I think the the character that I think in in my initial viewing was too he he felt too goofy kind of thing. Like that whole yeah. thing was played for laughs, and so they go visit New Asgard, and he's just like, hey, I'm I'm here, and yep. you know, it's just I'm I'm a, I'm a big party animal yeah. now. You know? I could definitely see that, but I also think there was the payoff for that, for that character where. One of the big plot points of this movie is we revisit a lot of Thor 2. The Dark yeah, one, right. Which I really enjoyed because uh-huh. most people hate that movie or yeah. think nothing of and it. And again, I think it's fine. I think yeah, pe- I think it's fine I too. think people want they want a movie to kick yeah. so it doesn't look like they're like... I'll un- kick Iron Man 3 before I kick... Yeah, Thor exactly. Yeah. I, th- I think I think people want one so they don't look like completely uncritical fanboys of yeah. the thing. So they're like, well, that one's the worst one. I, don't I think, think it's, it's fine, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's better than Ant-Man and the Wasp. Mm. Also, if you legitimately think it's the worst one, that's fine. That's also fine, yeah. Mm-hmm. But so, and th- but then when he goes to visit his mother, and she immediately is like, you're from the future. And then yeah. they have that interaction, and he gets to say goodbye to his that's mom. That's true, and yeah. I, I liked all of that. And yep. she kind of gives him a, a pep talk. They show some stock footage of Jane Foster, because yeah, they, they uh-huh. couldn't get her back. Yeah. It's amazing they got Robert Redford, but not Natalie yeah, Portman. Isn't it right? Yeah. That... that the whole... The ca- I love cameos like that, because yeah. it's so difficult to... Uh-huh. Natalie Portman does get a full thing in the credits. Though. Yeah, well, she's in it. She is in it. She <laughs> yeah. gets lines, yeah. but they're lines from Thor yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of families, though, what I like about I think I've liked Tony. I like Tony Stark in this movie more than any others uh-huh. because he actually makes a sacrifice that means something to him. Yeah. He right. has the opportunity. He's built a new life with his family. He's got yep. a daughter. Uh-huh. He's, he he loves the way that he lives his life. Uh-huh. He's like, I don't want to change any of that. Mm-hmm. But he still gives. Uh, well, he does give it up because he dies. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Uh, we're already in spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Um, he gives all that up for the sake of humanity. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah, which I feel, and I think he's come a long way. And that was an interesting dilemma for that character. Yeah. Because what? Where are the stakes for him? Because if he didn't have a, a daughter, he probably would do that in a heartbeat. It yeah, for it sure. Right. Uh-huh. Him yeah, yeah. At all. Yeah. Yeah. So he, okay, but that that being said, uh, what's where's this timeline now? Everybody's everybody yeah. who's brought everybody who's Everybody who's been brought back yes. is now the same age as they were five years ago. Correct. But everybody else is as has aged normally. On. Yeah, and people so, have talked about that in relation to Spider-Man: Homecoming. He yes. goes back to school, and they're all still there. Yeah, 
that is a mix of I've got an Easter egg video. Um, oh, okay, cool. It, but that's a mix of like Ned Leeds must have got snapped. Yeah, uh, he's uh, MJ must have been snapped because yep. she's in Homecoming. Flash, snapped. Flash must have been snapped. So that means that school is half kids from who grew up and then into twenty. It's twenty twenty three, yeah. and half were snapped. Yeah, right. That's what it must be. Yeah, for sure. Unless uh-huh. Ned Leeds is an absolute dumbass. Well, and, he got kept down kept five, years, five years. Yeah, years, but yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's the idea. No. Yeah. All the kids from the academic decathlon team were actually turned out they were actually really dumb, and they all got kept down. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know what? I I did enjoy uh, the the probably the one that I found least interesting was revisiting Guardians. Mm-hmm. But I liked. Um, <laughs> it was fine. But like yep. they go to. They get Morag. the Morag and whatever, and Thanos is there, and that's all fine. But I liked revisiting the Avengers and the Captain America versus Captain America fight. Incredible, it's yes. fantastic. Uh-huh. They've clearly seen Jet Li's the one. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> so, everyone in all twenty-three parallel universes has yeah. seen Jet Li's the one. And the thing about that is, you realize it's going to happen just before it happens. Uh-huh. It's one of those things where I could never have predicted that this is what they were going to do. Yeah, right. And when it's about to happen, I'm like. This is exactly what I want to see. Yeah, right. Like this uh-huh. from this timeline. Yeah. yeah, this is it. And there's even the, the, the uh, that line I assume you're talking about was the I can do this all day. Well, there's a few of them, but and he's yeah. like, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, yeah, I get and it. Obviously, like that's more for the yeah. audience. I meant more in the sense of like you know when right at the end in the final battle and Captain America's facing off the entire army by himself and then he hears Falcon say, "On your left." Oh yeah, right. You know? Well, I guess that's we, where they let. They yeah, met. no, but I, and it's significant. We hear it twice, and it's in it's in. He wakes him up at the mm. at the hospital with with that line. Yeah, if right. You, if I remember correctly, um, but yeah, I mean, like that was that was a long a long time ago. <laughs> I'd be like, what? <laughs> Hand who is the, this? Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I I really like that. Uh, event. Like, it was fun seeing the Avengers from that different perspective. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. After they pose, they all kind of like break. Like it was also the end of like a filming day. They all yeah, kind right. of uh-huh. yeah, yeah, separate. Yeah. I, uh-huh. I quite enjoyed that. Uh, but yeah, it's obviously from there. They go to the 1970s. Uh-huh. Uh, I was a little confused actually for most of the 2012 sequence as to the, the appearance of the Hulk for a lot of it. Why is that? I don't know. He just, the 2012 Hulk and, and 2019 Hulk yeah. look quite similar. I don't yes. know. Just, and at one point he rips his shirt off. Yeah. Because if they're going like Captain America's wearing his old outfit. So if anyone yeah. sees him. Yeah. Yeah. They just think it's... But he's wearing a time travel suit. No, no, because that zips back. It's like a nano suit. Yeah, right. When uh-huh. he fights himself, yes. he's in his... He's no, in I'm a... talking about the Hulk. No, he tears it off so if anyone sees him... Yeah, I know. They think it's the Hulk. Yeah, I know. But it's nanotech. But if he's wearing nanotech... Just, not wear, just have him not wear a shirt. Why is he ripping off a, a, la- a layer of nanotech? I don't think it was... Na- I think he was wearing clothes under the nanotech. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So where's the nanotech gone? In his it, butt? No, it goes into a little capsule or whatever i assume oh, like right. a belt or whatever all right, okay, then. but he, he but he takes it off so when he goes through the city people won't uh, be okay, like right, right. why is there two hulks and one's dressed in a, in a tuxedo, in a tuxedo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh-huh yeah all i right. liked the conversation with him in the ancient one again it's this thing of like these two characters shouldn't even be a mess yeah right uh-huh. yeah mm. and they bring back tilda swinton for all of that nearly an elevator fight yep glad they didn't do it like I was kind of like, here we go, <laughs> but then, but we've seen that. Yeah, well, we need exa- another yeah, elevator exactly. fight yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, I, I enjoyed the way him thinking his way out of it and doing the and like, the return of the patron saint of our podcast, yes, Callan Mulvey, who right. doesn't get any lines. I don't think. No, he doesn't. Mm. But again, that's an example of like you pay someone to turn up and you know what I mean. Yeah, right. And uh-huh. they, you know, it's just that it kind of blows my mind. They got all those people back, like Sitwell and Brock Rumlow and yeah, all right, those uh-huh. people. Uh-huh. All right, matter. deaths. Let's talk about deaths. Okay, then. deaths. Okay. Black Widow, thrown off a cliff. Will she be back for Black Widow, the movie? Well, it depends. It could be a prequel. It could be set between Infinity War and Endgame, like in that time jump. Yeah, uh, that's uh, true, yeah. You can pull... But I would find those unsatisfying. I agree. I'm sure they can make it work. But at the same time, I don't want to see... Black Widow of years ago. I want to see Black Widow yeah. now. Well, I, I don't want to be crushed under the crushing sadness of her of too past. much ballet and too much ballet, and then and, and, and she's a ballet murderer or whatever. I want to see modern you don't want to day see Black Widow ballet murderer. No, I kind of, and now I do. Now that I've described it in such floral language, I do. But I think I would much rather see modern day Black Widow just doing a, a yeah. spy thing. Well, there's options because they brought back Gamora, not with That's the true. snap, but they just yep. grabbed one out of time. Yes. This time travel, the, we'll do a video on it. We'll okay. make it after this. But All right. It, I think it's just different realities. Like I think it is too. When they go back in time, because, you, because if you kill a past version of yourself, you don't die. Yes. Which means there's branching timelines and multiverses and uh-huh. whatever. Yeah, right. So, But does that... Okay, so here's the question. So... 
the the premise of, the premise of this time heist is they steal all the Infinity Stones, yes. which is going to branch off that particular reality yep. into a parallel universe for good or ill. For good or ill, yeah. but in, when you bring the stones back, yeah, the universe continues along the same yes. path it did before. So because Nebula was killed, yeah, does that mean when? Uh, when Steve Rogers sends back all the Infinity Stones, that she's brought back. she's brought back again. I don't know if it. I don't know if it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe yes. Yeah. But also, then he he also lives, like him going back and living that life would have changed that reality. But she also says not some- if he keeps his bloody head down. No, well, that's true. But then she also says something along the lines of, if you bring the stones back, then everything's you know everything yeah. like you said will uh-huh. be fine. It's but a I bit don't know if it is because Loki got one and scarpered. So how does that affect? Maybe that's his solo. Things? Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. exactly it. But all, yeah, you're right because then in going back and stealing the the cube again from the 70s, yeah, that just means there's two loose cubes out yeah. there. Loki still gets it, so yeah. you'd have to get it from Loki. Or right, stop but him from but I, it. but I, but potentially, and again, there's a lot of hand waving here. If if Steve Rogers gets the cube back to the 70s, yeah, does that mean it's then available for? Loki to steal. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Right, so you'd okay. have to get it there as well. Okay, right. Or maybe Loki just goes and gives it to Thanos. He go or he gets captured on Asgard, regardless. Yeah, right. And he gets killed anyway. Yeah, right. We don't, the thing is, we that version of Loki, we don't really know what happens to it. It's well, kind that's of, true. It's kind of a, the wild card. He might have been immediately that. captured by Thor. Yeah. Or the Hulk. As soon as he left the building, yeah. I mean, I mean it's he not... probably didn't. No, I mean he probably went to the other side of the galaxy. Yeah. but you know, yeah. Mm. So and that was a very small Tom Hiddleston cameo. He's not, he's not really in these movies much, is he? These, no. these new ones. But again, he's getting that TV. And show. a very small one. What, some other cam? A very small uh, Jarvis the Butler cameo. The first TV reference. They did it. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You couldn't that, believe it. That yeah. I think was the biggest surprise. For yeah, me, right. Uh-huh. That they linked the tele- yeah. one, one television series. Mm. They threw. <laughs> ABC abode. Not the Defenders, not Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., nah. Agent Carter. Which is a good show from yeah. the one season I watched. I yeah, quite right. liked it and he was a good Jarvis. I guess Agent Carter does have the most references. Like it has the yeah. most, it has the most, because it's got, it's got Howard Stark, it's got Dominic Cooper as Howard yeah, Stark. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that's all I can think of. It's got others probably. It's got others probably, yeah. Got, it's got the Howling Commandos. That's true, yeah. yeah no, so you're you right, go. it does, yeah. Uh, I like the 1970s setting for a number of reasons. Mm-hmm. Firstly, uh, Okay, one in particular. I like the Howard Stark stuff. Yeah, right. He uh-huh. got to speak to his dad because from the, in the last, the last time they met, remember he wishes that he had said that he loved him and goodbye. Yeah, right. And he, uh-huh. he didn't get the opportunity, and then he actually goes and gets to do that. It's kind of yeah, weird right. that Howard Stark is just telling this fucking rando, yeah, right, his uh-huh. life story, and he finds him near the Tesseract and doesn't think anything of it. Yeah, you know. But I'm I'm happy to kind of let that go. One thing I'm not willing to let go. You say tesseract. Yeah, I don't know. It's tesseract. Okay, good. I know. It's just easier. <laughs> okay, is it? Yeah. Is it? Tesseract or yes. tesseract. <laughs> tesseract. All right. All right. Yeah. But I guess he's he's vulnerable because it's the day before his kid's going to be born. Yeah, exactly. So. That's fine. Yes. Inter- interestingly, in this universe... John Slattery looks ridiculous in a brown wig. That's true, he does. That's Okay, that's point number one. Point number two, we're expected to believe that Tony Stark's year of birth is 1970. Yes. No, 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 no. Well, that would make him forty nine. Okay, how old is Robert Downey? Five. That's not unreasonable. No, okay, that's all right. I thought he, he was... looks when he, when they get him from space. Yeah. He looks old as hell. He looks a fright. He's got like white stubble, so yeah, he's right. clearly dyeing his beard with a, yeah, with right. a little marker or uh-huh. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. but We've I also all been think, there. I like, yeah, definitely. I also think they skinny him down. Yeah, I think they did too. Yeah, uh, uh-huh. just a little, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, interestingly, in the comic books. Tony Stark isn't Howard Stark's biological son. He's adopted. Right, yeah. So so in this universe he is. He is, yeah. There yeah. You go. In in that. uh in the comic book universe, their biological son is Arno Stark. Bad dude. Yeah. And Morgan Stark is their cousin. Yes. Who's a man. Not the daughter. Not the daughter, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Uh, what was the other thing? Uh, that's probably it. Did that bother you, did it? <laughs> Not really, no. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> It's all these, they're taking female roles, they're taking over, it's, there's too much diversity. Okay, well let's talk about Captain Marvel then. Okay. She's in it at the start. Yep. So what must happen, because she turns up in the post-credits of... Uh, is her new haircut a mistake? Is that the question? It's a weird wig. I don't That's mind I it. it. I don't mind it, I but I don't love it. I think that haircut works uh-huh. if it was an actual haircut. Right. But uh-huh. I found it as a distracting wig. Okay. Well, I thought they should have done the shaved side thing. Yes. Maybe they're probably saving that. They're, yeah, they, yeah, you know what, I reckon I reckon it's going to be the next one. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favourite one. It's a good one. Yeah. So yeah. what must happen is because she shows, shows up 
up uh, at the end of um, Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. right after the snap. Captain Marvel shows up at the end of Captain Marvel. Yeah, but in the modern day. Oh. So she must get to Earth, go back, get Tony Stark, come back again. Yeah, right. That uh-huh. must be because I was trying to. I was like, wait a minute, because she didn't have Tony Stark when she. But it's fine. Mm-hmm. They did it. They did it. That's I'm true. okay with it. There's probably yeah. a lot of stuff in this movie that I didn't get. That's. They probably thought about more than I did. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. But remember, Mason, going to the past doesn't change your past. It becomes your present. Yeah. And could affect your future. They could have used a diagram there, I'll be honest with you. They did with the stones and it branched guess, off, Mason. Fine. It's just like the, the blackboard in Back to the Future Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, good. This movie yeah. is Back to the Future too in a lot of ways. Yeah, it is. It's true. In parts. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, so there was a Carol Danvers. I didn't... We've talked about this. I didn't want Captain Marvel to come in and kill Thanos. Yes. Mostly because... She'd been around for one movie at that point, and uh-huh. I feel like it would have been more interesting to have more established characters do it. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. That being said, there was a moment in this movie where they're going head to head, and she and he punches her, and she doesn't even flinch. Yeah, yeah. He goes to headbutt yeah. her, and it just bounces. And I'm off. like, fuck. That. And, and I was like, actually, this would be amazing if they did that because people would lose their mind. Yeah. But she's barely mm. in the movie as well. For sure. And yeah. And she yeah. just pulled out his heart or something. Yeah, that'd be great. They, they don't end up yeah. doing that, obviously. But then he but... Get, he, got, he, he pulled a little move I wasn't yeah. expecting, which is to pull the power stone out of the glove and just Ooh. punch her in the face with it. Smart. Mm-hmm. It's kind of uh, that that whole last fight with um. There's you got to kind of give like forgive some stuff. For example, with if uh, Thanos grabs. Captain America and slams him. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just got to kind of go with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the hammer bit, uh, yeah. Captain America, it's it's hinted at an age of Ultron. Uh-huh. You see it, you, you, I think you said this as well, you see it coming before it happens because yes. he's got Thor pinned down. He doesn't yeah. have the hammer on him. Yeah. Captain America's off screen. And you see the hammer lift up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost like it's being held by a bit of string. <laughs> yes. And then he... Cleans his clock with it. Yeah. That was a great moment. That was so good. Yeah. Mm. That was real, And it's a good kind of payoff to... Yeah. And there's uh, a lot of precedent in the comics for him. He's, he's been... He's one of the only ones. I think yeah. He can, can, he's it. wheeled it in all sorts of what-ifs and, and, you know. He must have also given it back to Thor in yes. Thor The Dark World. Yeah. He must have returned it, right? Here's one other thing they also must have done. Yeah. If we don't see it. Is he must have met back up with a Red Skull. Yes. <laughs> on on Vormir. That would have been weird, wouldn't it? Or, or here's the thing, though. Would the Red Skull even have been there? Does the Red Skull disappear once? Because he's, if he's no longer guarding the Soul Stone, yeah. does he get to leave, I, I wonder? Know. But again, who put it there? But then he wouldn't. You'd, I think you'd be like, you have the Soul Stone, you drop it off the side of the cliff, and, and then like, the Red Skull would show like, up. Oh, God like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was having lunch. I was just putting together my Netflix list. <laughs> That's so much to catch up on. I was going to hit play. That would have been a very interesting... I, I look, they'd, they'd never make it, but I would love to see the Captain America return to the times, the turn to the Infinity Stones movie. Mm, I think yeah. that would be great. Yes, but it seems as if he's retired for now. Yes, because he's 110 years old. Yeah, or right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. What do you think about the old Steve Rogers? Uh, I think it looked great. Yeah, but uh-huh. did what at the scene itself though? What about that? I thought it was fun. I thought it yeah. was good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. It's kind of it leaves him in the unit. I mean, again, anyone can come back because yeah. they're like Tony Stark's dead. But, but I'm like. You fucking grab Gamora out of time. Yeah. Just get another version of him. Yeah. It doesn't matter. As we've suggested, they, again, no one ever really dies in comic books. Yeah. And I think the the rules are kind of more... The rules, I guess, regarding death are more set in stone in a movie universe. Cause they're, especially this one, because there's fewer characters. Yeah. And and you don't want to... You don't want to... You don't want to bring everybody back to no. the point where, a, you know, you're in a multi-billion dollar franchise and there's no stakes to it at Absolutely, all. Absolutely, yeah. But... There's ways to sort of hand wave through it. You just bring yeah. a character back, and then they're evil for a bit, yeah. or they've gone mad for a bit, yeah. and then you go. But and that and that's enough price to be paid to bring them back, kind of thing. I would not be surprised if either the new Spider-Man suit in Homecoming has Tony Stark in it as an AI, oh, yeah, uh-huh. or that he's been left a mess. I think he's going to be dealing with the loss of Tony Stark, and he gets left a message. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I think they might do that. I don't know, but I don't think he's done. A, a lot of people in the comments of the. Um, because at the very end credits, you hear him. It sounds like him making his Iron Man suit. For yeah, the right. First uh-huh. one. Yeah, I, I think it. Well, I think it's a callback, but I also think it's a hint towards. I'm not saying it necessarily immediately, but I again, would be, I'm saying it's Galactus' xylophone. Yes, <laughs> he's coming, baby. <laughs> he's coming back. I would be shocked if we never saw him again yeah, in sure. any form. No, of course. And I'm not yeah. talking like a photo. I'm no. talking like an, he actually reprises it. In I, some I, form. I I love the idea of the the old school. Well, I mean, you, you can't really do it in this in this version, but like. 
the old Iron Man suit just with the hologram head coming yeah, out of it. Tony Stark. That's great. Yeah, I think that's fun. Me too. Yeah. I also or maybe that. on maybe give him maybe a Tony Stark hologram on one of those arm scutters. Yes. you know one of those those moving those dumb moving crane yeah. robots. Absolutely. There were there were two um, snaps of the gauntlet, yes. or three if you count Thanos destroying the stones and then Thor behind oh, yeah. him, uh-huh. which was it was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, the Hulk brings back everybody. Yep, Could, couldn't bring back uh, Black Widow because she was she gave up herself for the stone and whatever. Okay, yeah. We didn't really talk about Hawkeye's arc. Do you want to talk about that? He's sad and then he's mad. He looks and then he's bad. He's a rude dude with a tude. He looks ridiculous. He does look ridiculous. <laughs> but again, we I think we figured it out before the movie. He's in with the triads or whatever. Uh, so yeah. which is why he has the weird tattoos and the weird I haircut. I think he doesn't have somebody to tell him his haircut looks stupid. I really wish. I really wish at the end when he was reunited with his family, the the wife gives him the the loving kiss, and then she's like, "What?" Just touches the side <laughs> of his head, and like, "What are you? What is this? <laughs> what are you doing?" I feel like maybe there were some elements missing of that of like personal connection. Okay, like there's a bit where towards the end Ant-Man shows up and then the Wasp appears and they just sort of like wink at each other yeah, right. yeah, and okay. then they just go and do their thing. And I, I know I know, time is tight, but, but I'd be like, you're back from the dead. Yeah, but he's only been gone... Oh, a few hours, Yeah, right. he didn't miss her for five and years. And I guess she's been only gone for yeah, minutes. Yeah, momentarily. Yeah, I guess that's probably like true. Yeah, you're right. Map, uh-huh. So, yeah. yeah. What do you want, a big hug? Yeah, big hug. Big hug and a kiss. Big hugs all around. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, uh-huh. I thought that the Tony Stark death was well deserved, and okay, so, sorry before that. <laughs> yeah, he really does. deserve it. He does it. deserve it. Yes, yes, but it was well earned, I should say. But the Thor, not Thor, um, the Hulk snapping the gauntlet was interesting. I loved that Tony Stark Iron Man gauntlet. Yeah, I right. Liked the uh-huh. look of that, and I loved the when Tony Stark steals the the stones and then yeah, huh. and then clicks also and then f- completely fries his brain. Yeah, yeah, that was a good death. I it thought, was a good death. Him. I yeah. think so too. Because yeah. again, that's he knows that's gonna. That's going to yeah. kill him. And but again, I'm sure. Look, you know what you could do is you could you could you could say, okay, he attempted to he attempted to maybe put his brain into a, like clone. His, there's there's so many ways he could come yeah. back. But I think you know, there's no way that Tony Stark wouldn't attempt to keep himself alive even doing yes. that. I feel like I you know the the goal is to be selfless and and bring, yeah. and, and you know defeat the bad guys but I, if if I were Tony Stark he'd go okay this is going to kill me so how about we clone my body and we yeah. put it over there yeah. and we put my brain into it yeah. kind of thing um, so you could very easily go okay well he did that but it's in on the other side of the galaxy yeah, sure. so now we have to get him back to earth or it's of, in the future or it's in the future or the past or the past whatever yeah. mm-hmm. or in a, in a ditch yeah <laughs> the ditch on the side of the road yes. yep yeah but what I thought was weird about his death is he's dying and he can't talk because he's just Fucked. Yeah, like, right. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Spider Man comes up and he's like, "Oh, Mr. Stark," and he's crying. And then Pepper's there, and I'm just like, "Get, Get out, out of the way. way! Get out of the way!" <laughs> Everybody else here has known him longer than you. You've have. known him for like an hour. <laughs> All up, you've known him for an hour. <laughs> I did like the. Instant- he was he he gave you a, he gave you a suit, and then he was mad at you, and then he took the suit away. <laughs> And then he was... He made you fight at an airport when he shouldn't have. And then he put you in a position where you got turned to dust. And now he's back. Don't be that sad for him. But then, but with him and Pepper Potts telling him, like, it's sorted. You know, you can die. It's all yeah, right. right. Like, uh-huh. I, that was good. And yeah. it was great seeing Rescue as well. Not really Rescue, though. No, it's just a suit of armor. Because you had a lot of lasers. It's just a suit of armor. Yeah, it looked good, though. It did look good. Mm. Yeah. And it's also hinted at at the start because you see the helmet. Yeah, right. Essentially, yeah. Uh-huh. But no, I think that was a really kind of fitting conclusion of yeah. the guy who kind of started it off kind of got to end it which is i think was what we kind of suspected would, yeah right uh-huh. would happen but yeah now everyone will uh leave to- leave no but robert downey jr doesn't want to be left alone but i think i think <laughs> i think chris evans wants to be left alone i now. think so he needs a little <laughs> bit of a rest yeah 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 i think a lot of that the a lot of the exhaustion in the final battle was real i think yeah absolutely oh. uh broken shield though like in the comics oh, so there yeah. you go. but we do he reforges it at some point in the past and he gives it to the Falcon. Yeah. That uh, kind of surprised me that he gave it straight to the Falcon. And not Bucky. Not Bucky, Because yeah. the, the the Bucky Falcon series, we assumed, was about who was going to get the shield. And it still might be that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's yeah. like, well, you gave it to me, but I don't know if I'm... Maybe he's a bit senile. Let's see who's better, actually. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. And Bucky was like, yeah, this is yours. Yeah. Interesting, right? Well, I mean, 
they both had it in the comics. That's true. Yeah. But I, yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm, I don't care. Maybe they could alternate. Yeah. They exactly. Could, they could have it, uh, you know, like a like divorced parents. Exactly. Th- yeah. Have, yeah. I mean, they could. One guy could have it during the week and one on weekends. Yeah. Or they could have it three days each and then share it on the Sunday. Maybe. That's right. They Just, can take it to a water park together. Yeah, that's right. That's fine. <laughs> they both have to keep it like one arm through it. <laughs> each of them, they have to charge the bag. They have to clothesline a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and they have to mutually agree to throw it. I agree with yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a good. Uh, it's a good kind of. There's. It is definitive in its ending, but there's a lot of stuff where, well, first of all, we know certain movies are coming. And yeah, TV right. Uh-huh. Shows. Uh huh. But if it wasn't as, get ready for this. Yeah, right, right, right. It's kind of like there are things here that will, uh, will can and will continue. Yeah, right. Uh huh. But it wasn't as like. I thought there was going to be like you'd see the vision after the credits or Black Widow or yeah, some or characters just never return. Like yeah, but it's just, they just they just don't. But again, you've got a time machine. You could just go get another version of her. I guess you could. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what we could talk about? It. We could talk is about so gonna, many things. Is that going to break the universe though? When you've got a time machine, because uh, they have a time machine, they build another time machine. No, because Tony Stark's dead. They built one at the end, remember? Oh, they yeah, said they did. America through time. Yeah, that's true. They did. Yeah. Ah, uh, then yes. Mm. Ooh. They have time machines in the comics. Yeah, that's true, and it doesn't really doesn't mm. really affect much. So, I don't know. Maybe... I think if we all promise not to, not to. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, if we all maybe... promise not to use it, maybe if they do it from the pers- yeah perspective of it's not real time travel, it's dimensional, and we're just screwing up another dimension. Yeah. yeah so yeah, sc- scouts honor. Let's scouts let's on. not let's not bother anybody. So I'm just plugging this in. All right then, pretty cool. We got these sweet in-floor powerpoints. Oh well. But this one is wow. not. It's too close to me. Okay. And I've positioned it wrong, but it's in the floor forever because they carved it into concrete. What do I do about it? Nothing at all. Just grouse about it on a podcast I'm for years, I reckon. To, I okay, that. what else? What else were we going to talk about? Mm, good question. I'm just going through my list. Okay. Of things that I hate about you. Oh, this is a right. long list, mate. I don't even know if we'll ever see. <laughs> well, the end get of- started. <laughs> Come on. Uh, what did you think of all the? What did you think of all the ladies of the Marvel Universe teaming up? Yeah, look, it did feel a bit kind of like. Eh? Was fun though, wasn't it? But it was it? fun, exactly. Yeah. I don't think that's any more egregious than in Age of Ultron when they're all posed when they jump. Yeah, that was so, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, it's fine. I think I would love to see an A Force movie. Me too. But some people are mad about that. Yeah, right. Because you know, uh-huh. mm. imagine. <laughs> Putting all the female characters and together. Can Why can't they put all the men characters together? Basically? When are they finally going to put all the men together on a team? You know, I just don't see how you could get upset about that. Even if you like, it's a little on the nose, and it is. You know, because it's clearly like. Why would they all be standing in the same area? <laughs> right, like uh-huh. in the same. It's kind of a massive coincidence. Uh-huh. But good. Yeah, they could give them a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not? Why yeah. not? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think they will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, when there's, when's there going to be a men, Men's Avengers, though? That's, exactly right. That's yeah. both of our point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What yeah. else, Mason? What else? Uh, I'm sure there's, there's bloody heaps of stuff. There's a shit ton, Mason. There's so much. I thought that Captain America would handily defeat past Captain America because he's got more training. I thought of that as well, yeah. I mean, uh-huh. he did defeat him. Because War Machine soundly defeats Peter Quill with one punch to the face. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. I like seeing that different perspective on that dance as well. And yeah, right, right, right. He's just, uh-huh. a, a, he's just a, a big idiot. A yeah. big idiot. That's true. About. But yeah, I thought because Captain America's got years of training and he's clearly changed because mm. he's swearing up a bloody storm. Oh, also, you know what I liked? Yeah. I liked the fact that um, Black Panther remembered who Porco was. That was nice, yeah. That was fun, he right? He went out of his way. He went out of his way. He's like, I remember you. Now yeah. give me that gauntlet. <laughs> Otherwise, we're all going to die. <laughs> You're just a man with bow yes. and arrows. Come on. I enjoyed the Spider-Man suit instant kill mode. Yep. Which is was just back. stabbing. Yeah. <laughs> We all wondered. We wondered for years what it was. It's just stabbing. Yep. So, yeah, there's a little bit of blood in this. Hawkeye cuts a guy's throat, but it's... That's true, yeah. It's kind of enough to where you, you, you're you not going to get your M rating on, yeah, right, right, on right. this kind of movie, though, uh-huh. you know, which I think is probably probably smart, though. Mm. Uh, we've, look, we've got a video also upcoming on upcoming on what, like what's next in the universe or what potentially could be. Have we recorded that yet? No, we haven't recorded oh, it we'll yet. Oh, we'll do it later. We'll save it for that. But, uh-huh. I mean, this is a movie we're probably going to come back to. Maybe we do. We want to do like an MCU kind of roundup next week, or do we want to wait till Homecoming? Because Homecoming is not Homecoming. It's far far from, from home, home, whatever it is. <laughs> Infinity War. You think of Infinity title. War? Great title, Far From Home. <laughs> it's a terrible title. Mm, yeah. I do not like it. All right, I get it. Why not call it Spider Man Homecoming Two? Spider Man Home Alone Two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back, Lost in New York. Back in New York. Or whatever. Yeah, we yeah. go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Do we want? Do we want to wait till? Because the end of this phase is going to be Spider Man. I guess that. Yeah, that's true. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. 
Because mm. why not, I guess. Yes. And then, uh, anyway, how about this? I've got some reviews here from people who have uh-huh. re- tweeted the show. It's from Stevie says, Endgame was fantastic. Uh, Disney Marvel should give seminars to the folks at Disney Star Wars on how to properly do fan service. Mm-hmm. That's very right, right, uh, right. Day says, spoiler warning, we're way past, way past that. Come on, mate. <laughs> Avengers Endgame was amazing. Shortest three hours of my life. But at the end of the movie, who was that random kid in the back during the funeral? Uh, it's the Iron Man 3 kid. Iron Man 3 kid. Yeah. <laughs> he's gotten tall and he's gotten goofy. That's right. Uh, the true Mad Hat Hater says, uh, saw Endgame last night. No spoilers. Uh, good action sequence, dialogue and characters. Good payoff at the end. But uh, when the main plot uh, they used was unclear, I'm sure it left... Um, Time travel, I assume. It leaves too many questions and holds me to accept as valid. Uh, only for that, worst movie ever. Ooh, bloody hell. Alexander says, Hush. Weird opinion, Endgame wasn't so much a movie as it was a conclusion to Iron Man and Captain America's stories. A very enjoyable, enjoyable experience for the fa- fans of the franchise. Andrew says, Sorry, Avengers Endgame. Holy shit, the best MCU movie. Best movie of the year and best cinema experience I've ever had. Uh, applauding and wooing audience. Uh, surrounded by friends and strangers. All feeling the same way and mostly crying like me. Best how do you feel like about ever. it? How do you feel about an uh, applauding audience, James? How do Shut you feel up. About it? Shut up. You don't like it? No. I like it. If, I like if it. it's brief, but yeah. you know, none of this extended... All right, all right. What's, what is it? I long. like it. No, I like it. You just keep it going? Good. Yeah, just keep during it going. During the movie. Yeah, I just keep it going. During the I movie. I see how long you I can this. keep it going. Just keep you it going this forever. The film. Yep, the whole time. You're an absolute Start to finish. Buffoon. <laughs> when the movie starts and I'm like, Woo! good, yep, Mr. Mr. Fantasy, great, great opening tune. Here we go. Really sets the tone. Just keep clapping. I clap the whole movie. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> and Charlie Hunter said, uh, yeah, Avengers Endgame is good, but have you seen Justice League? Yeah, that's a good question. Bit of a difference between these yep. movies, isn't there? Uh, uh, For yep. good or ill, there's differences. There's definitely differences, isn't there? I couldn't think of many off the top of my head. They both fight a greyish villain. That's true. Why didn't Thanos look like Thanos from Guardians, Mason? They look like the modern day Thanos. That's, that's a good point saying. also, yeah. That's yeah. a really good point. Yeah. Do you think that he, you know, over the course of Infinity War, he removed all his armor and he was just, you know, regular regular Thanos. Yeah. Nude Thanos. Yeah. Do you think it's because stylistically he looks more menacing with the armor on in this movie? Maybe. I know the reason they did it. They they told the line the they gave us was like he's he's he doesn't need it anymore. It's which is blah blah blah. It's a journey, yeah. but I think it's because he looks more menacing with the armor on. Okay, mm-hmm. especially with that big old sword. I know. Can't believe they didn't do the Thanos helicopter. Though he did kind of spin the blade. <laughs> he a did bit. spin it as if it were a helicopter. Yes. Speaking of, if yes. you love Thanos, uh, <laughs> flies in a helicopter. The story. Yes. Caravan of Garbage this Tuesday will be right up your alley. Oh boy. It's not. It's not a good one. No, but oh, it's interesting. It's kind, of, kind of is. It's interesting how yeah. how that story came about. Yes. It's probably you might you might have seen it as a meme. Yeah. Thanos flying a helicopter with Thanos on the yeah, side. That's right. And we're like, let's let's get to the bottom of yes. this. But uh, so. Eric and Ben are working on that at the moment, so that should be mm-hmm. up Tuesday and probably a bit early on Patreon, depending. Cool, man. Okay. Anything else? There's got to be more. We can come back to this, Mason. Howard the Duck does make an appearance in the final battle. Right, he does. Yeah, okay. a few people we'll have sent that, that in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yes. Uh, but did he have a gun? Don't, he's just walking. He's just walking slowly. Why would they even bring him there? I don't know. Why would he go? I don't know. That was a great moment when everybody came back at once. Yes. I almost mm-hmm. kind of... And Wong, because Wong did it. Wong's the best. Wong's the best, I mean, Doctor guy. Strange also did it. Yeah, I mean, sure, whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Wong's I, my fave. Like, where's the Wong series? How can they put the Wong in it? Well, they've been Doctor Strange too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you reckon he went to Tony Stark's wedding? He, I bet he was the best it man. It would have been sad, wouldn't it? He would have. No, I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I think Tony Stark's. Uh, he moved on. I think. Yeah, very quickly. Very quick. Well, yeah. he's allowed to. Well, he had no other. <laughs> yeah, you know, his his bride to be survived. So yeah, why would right. he care? He doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, I also and, did Happy die. We don't know. Yeah. Right. Uh I I enjoyed Ant Man seeing his daughter again. Yes, I. She was aged up uh-huh. or, or whatever because of time. Yes, time. Mm-hmm. And the world wasn't. We didn't see. Good. We didn't see uh, Louise. Is Michael that his Douglas? name? No, yeah. we didn't see him. Mm-hmm. What happened to him? Probably snapped. Maybe he put the van in there. Young Michael Douglas looks so much like Emilio Estevez. It's frightening. You did say that. Yeah. I think it's the hair. It's the hair. You but said, I, I think you even said like his son, but they're not related. No, but I can, I'm, I'm confused because Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez are brothers, right? Correct. And, and they're the sons of Martin Sheen. Yes, yeah. precisely. It was not Michael Douglas. Okay, just checking. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, no, I, can, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
All right. How do you think he looked with his old Ant Man helmet in the incredible or whatever? Yeah, so good. I thought that de-aging wasn't great, that one. All right, fine. Particular, okay. That's okay. Uh-huh. It's okay, Mason. We'll come back to this. We and we've got a bunch of Endgame stuff to talk about. That's in true. We do, coming yeah. Coming up this week. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, do you know what it's time for? Is it time for what we're reading? What we're going to read. What we're going to read. Okay. I'm doing the things. What are we reading today? <laughs> now, what I'm reading is not about Avengers. Okay. Uh, but it. we're just going to do spoilers till the end because we've got questions about it. Okay. Um, so... There, right. What about you? What are you reading now? Well, what I was reading is not spoilers for the Avengers, but had an Avenger in it. I finally watched Arrival. Dennis Villeneuve. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a yeah. good movie. The Arrival with Charlie Sheen. No. The Alien Invasion Yeah, the story. son of Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> What'd no, you think? Arri- it's good. It's very good. It's a very good movie. I it makes agree. you think. It makes you think about and arriving. It was, ni- it was a nice palate cleanser because it had aliens in it, but they weren't Punching shooting me. lasers all the way through the planet, you know? No. Well, at yeah. one point they do. But uh, I don't want to. Oh, yeah. I don't give away the movie Arrival. All right. I also recommend the short story it's based on, Mason. Ooh. Uh, do you want to spoil any of it or anything to say in particular about it? That you... uh, no, it's just a good. It's yeah. a good drama. Make yes. you. Th- it make you think. It make you think. Yeah. Yeah. Does it make a sense? I yeah. don't know if it does. Well, that's. I liked it. Well, he's. What is he? The movies he's made have made have been nothing but good. Yes, that's true. And he, the next one he's doing is Dune. That's right. Dune. Is it Dune or Dune? No, it's Dune. It's Dune. Wait. It's August. No shh. Dune. 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 <laughs> okay. Can't wait for that episode. As someone who doesn't care much about Dune. Yes. That's me, but I'm very much looking forward to that movie because mm. he's directing it. Yeah. Uh, I am very nearly finished the TV series Fleabag. Oh, yep. Season two. Which uh, you've seen. Season I've seen one season off. one, yeah. Claire's been harassing me for weeks to watch it, and you mentioned it as well at some mm-hmm, point, maybe. Mm-hmm, yep. Anyway, it's fantastic. I love it. It's so funny and sad. And, yep. Uh, and done probably after two seasons. Yeah, I'm about right? 15 uh-huh. minutes till the end of Fleabag yeah. Forever. Yeah. And I bloody love it. So, <laughs> Which were called Fleabag Forever. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, that's the sequel. Yes. It's probably not for everybody. I can see people. Oh, I also watched some of it. Tag. I'm on a Jeremy Renner a thon. I did not like Tag. It's not gr- It's fine. Yeah. But it doesn't. It's not. I like the idea more than the it's execution. It's not anything, is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is something I saw and I, I daren't even. Maybe we should watch it. Okay. Later together. No. It's um no, we should we don't talk outside of the podcast, Mason. No, no, we definitely should do this. <laughs> because obviously we you know, in weeks past we talked about uh the most recent Black Mirror. Yeah. The interactive Black Mirror. Black Mirror. And we're like, how are people gonna use and misuse this? Talking about Bear Grills? Yeah, I'm talking about Bear Grills, <laughs> you versus Wild. Yeah. Netflix Interactive Presents. Yes. You make key decisions to help Bear Grylls survive. Or do you think he's gonna die? Do you think you get like you'll do you think there'll be a bit where he falls to the bottom of a cliff and and just you see him hit every rock on the way down? <laughs> Potentially. It looks cheap, but maybe it isn't. Yeah. I'd say they put money into it. My friend Paul, who you know, oh, yeah. uh, his son loves that show. He's like five. He loves killing Bear Grylls. <laughs> oh, okay. That's all he wants in his life. Wow, yeah. okay. I'm excited for so that, to be honest. Guy, so. um, also, I haven't bought any of those video games I said I would, but I should get on Well, there's it. a lot... I. I'm reading a lot of things about Mortal Kombat. For one, like the, the challenge towers are like impossible. They've tweaked that apparently. Yeah, I know, but and they they talk about it like we we didn't know, and now we're you knew. And the other yeah, thing right. is they apparently have terrible business practices. Yeah, well, they all do. They all, all these big video yeah. games companies. They the crunch they call it, and it's this acceptable work practice. Hundred hour weeks it's for ridiculous. all their programmers. I know, right? They should unionize or something yeah. to kind of stamp that out. And we'll spearhead it. No, sounds like a lot of work, doesn't it? We should unionize against big podcasting. Yeah, Stop, so we don't have to do have podcasting you heard, we'll, we'll anymore. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it afterwards. I got I got some there's some you some hot about, goss. You heard about Luminary? You heard about those guys? A little bit. You can fill me in more on that, yeah. though, in a bit. Yeah, I will. It's good, though, isn't it? It's good it for them. Sa- it sounds bad. Oh, okay. It sounds quite bad. I have nothing but good things. It sounds quite bad, and they're condescending in a way that we're being very condescending now. <laughs> okay, great. Um, what are we talking about? That's things that we've read. I'm yeah. try- I just I like to dip into the comics to see what I got here. Oh, Ascender's back. It's the sequel to, to Descender. Yeah, uh-huh. so yeah. I'll be. I bought it. I haven't read it yet. They should have so. called it Dig Up Stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's what that. Great reference, Mason. Thank you. And that's what we're reading. What we're going to read. But now it's time for... Oh, letters. It's time for... Letters? Yes. It's time for letters. The classic one was... Letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. We're going to hear right now. We're going to do letters. James. Nothing happened during that. No, Let's... you were headbanging. You were headbanging <laughs> to the letters theme. And in tune, might I add. Yeah, oh, you were nailing it. <laughs> Now, we've, now, so we've got a lot of 
Endgame related letters, so spoilers for Endgame yeah. during letters. Well, if you do want to reach the show via letter, uh, weekly we planet do pod. That. But we do we do emails, don't we? Yeah, maybe we should we should open a PO box. I don't want that. Why's that? Because then I have to check it. <laughs> How about I'll check it? No, nah. that'll be my one job. I'll do it every. But four will you weeks. do this one like you do your other one job, Mason? Get yeah. a letter? No. <laughs> You did get a letter this week. I did though, get a letter. I've got a few letters. What do you got? Well, this is from Demi and Holst, and I've chosen this one because it has the title Captain America Wife Stealer. Mm, yeah. Uh, Interesting. So, in the museum scene in Winter Soldier, yes. Cap watches an interview with Peggy Carter in which she says that one of the men Cap rescued from behind enemy lines in First Avenger later became her husband. Yes. This means Cap knowingly stole Peggy away from another man. Yep. We didn't even talk about that, really. No. What do you think of the. What do you think well, of the. Sorry, go on. Well, let's talk about it now. Yeah. What did you think of uh, his we, we, bloody bloody Steve Rogers finally got an ending that we, we can be happy with? That's exactly what I wanted. So good. And yep. he got it. Yeah. And he deserves it. Exactly. Just like Tony Stark deserved death. <laughs> yep, correct. This guy deserved this. That's right. Happiness. Yeah. Happiness, yeah. Yeah. Because he hasn't had a lot of happiness in his and life. And Thor's got somewhere in the middle. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so the nice. Holy Trinity. He gets, to, he gets to be the Asgardians of the galaxy. Yeah, nice. Which I think could... I yeah. think that could be Guardians 3. It could be a Thor... Gosh, I hope so. Troll crossover. Yeah, Why that'd not? be great. Why, Why not? not do that? Yeah. Uh, I think the dynamic of him and Peter Quill is it could be a fun or it could wear thin real quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's true. What They'll come it? to an understanding. I hope so. Buddy cop style. Buddy cop. Yeah, nice. Buddy cop style. Uh, so how do you how do you feel about that? Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Yep. I've looked into this. Yes. It's in the Easter egg video in more depth, but basically yes. you never see the husband. That's you see true. see a photo of the kids. Yep. He's never named. Mm-hmm. He's There's hinted at that she has, she has a romance with someone from the yeah. Agent Carter, but mm-hmm. they never get married. Yeah. It may be in every reality that Captain America comes back for her. That's true. Yeah. And also... Also good. I hope he stole. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> also, this... He, he rescued that guy. That guy should be dead anyway. Exactly. He should be thanking but, him. Um, uh, here's the thing, though. She wouldn't say in the interview, well, I owe Captain America a great debt of gratitude because he came back through time and married me. <laughs> yeah, that's Just right. FYI, he's secretly my husband. Yeah. And, uh, and I shouldn't be telling anybody this, but I'm telling everybody this. I wouldn't be surprised if... He might be like, "Hey, this, this is uh, I, I met this guy during the war, and yeah. now we're married." Like, maybe she has a romance with. He's somebody got a mustache. In, exactly. Maybe maybe she has a romance with somebody in the fifties. That doesn't work out, and he comes back like straight up. Like he's he's in. Yeah. He's in the, the next one. But you know, he'd be like, you, you wouldn't say, "Yeah, I'm Steve Rogers." He'd be like, "Yeah, I was. Uh, we met during the war. I'm Johnny Captain Rogers. Amer- Captain America rescued me, and now yeah. I'm here." Like he could just pretend I to be the guy. I love Captain America. I love Captain America. You know what? If he came through time and stole my wife away, wouldn't I'd mind be okay it at all. It. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's just him. Yeah, I agree. Because you wouldn't admit that. Because yeah. that would be a whole heap of trouble. He could be doing secret shield stuff. Somebody wrote this to me, and I don't know whether it was in a Gmail or yeah. a, or a whatever, uh-huh. but that he could form like a 60s Avengers team. I'm, like, that's what I'm talking with about. like a young Hank Pym, maybe some Fantastic Four and some X-Men yeah. or whatever. Because in, com- so in the comic books, what basically happened is Captain America was created in the 40s. Yes. And then... Uh, when when Timely Comics became Atlas Comics, that ca- Captain America was still fighting crime in like the 50s. Yeah. And then when they brought back Captain America for Marvel in the 60s, they said that all the stuff that happened in the 50s wasn't really him. It was, some- it was somebody else. Yeah. It was, I think it was maybe... It was somebody. Yeah, it was somebody who went crazy and thought he was Captain America or something like yeah. that. And so, because like Captain the, America stole his wife, probably. Probably. <laughs> well, I'm going to steal your shield. And he's like, "Fair call. I don't need it anymore. I don't even want it. I'd rather have the beautiful woman, if I'm honest with you." Um, so yeah, I mean, the, you know, so you could just be like, "Well, there's rumors that Captain America kept fighting crime all yeah. the way through the 50s and 60s." Um, and just be like, yeah, he did. Yeah, because of time travel. And also, nobody had a good photo of anybody. That's exactly right. <laughs> if, if they didn't sit, if you didn't sit there for the big concertina camera <laughs> with the burning gunpowder flash, <laughs> you may as well not have been there at all. That was a little bit earlier, but yeah, whatever. I get the idea. I absolutely yeah. right. Or you could just say. It, we're related. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't or matter. I look like him. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. I've got yeah. a mustache, though. Mm. So it's different. Yeah. But no, I'm 100% okay with him. Yep. Even if he did steal... I mean, that sucks for that guy, but also he doesn't know, does he? I don't he? think he's real. Yeah. I don't think he's ever real. I think you might be right. Yeah. I think it's been set up a while ago yep. that it wasn't ever him. And we'll probably get some kind of, com- kind of confirmation of that at some point, either yeah. from the directors or yeah. another mm-hmm. movie. But yeah, exactly. There you go. Uh, if you also want to reach the show, we do Twitter. Oh, I've, heard right. of, I've heard of Twitter. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes we do Twitter. And we're on the gram. Mm-hmm. 
but uh, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod, if you do want to reach the show, and this person, Adam, says, what do you guys think happens to the Red Skull after the Soul Stone is given away? Like, is he stuck on the planet, or is the curse lifted, or does he get transported somewhere else? Apparently, he can leave. That's what I've... I think the director Who's told you that. this? The director okay, said that he can go. Yeah. He's free to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, we don't know. I probably shouldn't have put this in because we answered it earlier, I guess. Uh-huh. But hey, this yeah. person took the time, so uh-huh. why can't we? One of the Russo brothers is in that scene. Yeah. Where they're, they're like in the support Yeah, he's group. in a few movies, yeah. Huh. Mm. As different characters. Oh, right, okay. He's the, he's the psychologist Daniel Bruhal murders oh, in Civil okay, War. Okay, right, right, right. He's a doctor in... Is it always Winter the same Russo brother? Yes, the other huh. one doesn't do it. Yeah. Okay, right. He's a good actor, though. All right, then. He did some good acting in this. Okay, cool. Yeah. Also, apparently the first openly gay character in the Marvel Universe. Could have got a gay actor, maybe. <laughs> what do you reckon about that? Well, they could have made him a superhero as well. They could That's have made true, him yeah. a more prominent character. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, all right. Okay, all right. You you message the Russo brother. I'm going brother, to. The, the Russo brother and tell I him. will. Yeah. Whichever one of you done this, I don't approve. <laughs> this is an email from Kevin. Yep. Kangalosi. Okay. Uh, I thought Endgame tied up a lot of loose ends, but I was disappointed that the Abomination and the Leader didn't get even a mention. I mean, we got mm. a lot of Reality Stone, not a lot of the Abomination. I was a little bit disappointed, again, at first first viewing, that Hawkeye wasn't breaking anybody out of the vault. Because yes. we did make a big thing about... Boy, did we. Who's he getting out of the vault? Who's he getting out of that bloody raft? Apparently nobody. He didn't even go there. The it, raft. There we go. just under the ground. Yeah, of exactly. an explosion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of movie anyway, it is, isn't it? It really is, yeah. And uh, maybe those characters are tied up in something. I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> Universal might own the rights, but they probably don't. For, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. To, they, they can use the Hulk, but not a solo movie we talked yeah, about. Right, yeah, right, right. Uh-huh. I've got a tweet here from Unimaginative Username. Oh, hello. And that makes sense because their username is CM, uh, CMCG underscore 22. It's not great. It's not great, is it? No. Random number generator. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now that Endgame is over, who do you think will be the next big bad in the MCU? I'd like to see Galactus or Doctor Doom, but maybe they're done with the big ultimate villains for now. Hashtag Weekly Punterpod. I think they probably are done for now. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. The culmination will probably be another 10 years. Yeah, for sure. Building towards the yeah. next thing. But we might not know what that is until four or five movies in. That's true. Yeah. I would like to see Galactus. The problem with Doctor Doom is... What is it? It's that he's ultimately quite similar to Thanos. In the way that he just wants things, he wants to gather ultimate power and then do something nefarious with it. Yeah, and it's just one guy again. But the thing about Galactus is, he's a big cloud, big cloud. He's a big cloud, <laughs> and and I hope finally we get big horned helmet Galactus. Oh my god, why would you even do it if you're not going to do big exactly. horned helmet Galactus? Why do they do it twice? Yeah, um, Doctor Doom's also a bit evil Iron Man. Yeah, for sure. You know, uh-huh. metal armor. Yeah. But metal the thing armor. about Galactus, uh, the comic book version at least, is he's part of the universe and you can't destroy him without destroying the universe. So oh, how do they, how do they, worth it, how do they handle that? They take his <laughs> wife away. Take his wife away. Captain America goes steals his wife. Steals his wife. <laughs> <laughs> we need a man with a very very specific set of skills. <laughs> Steve, we're bringing you back. You've got to steal this guy's wife. Uh, well, who it would, would you be like good because he'd be old now. Yep. Uh-huh. And his Peggy has died. And he's like, can I still do this? Have, yeah, have I still yeah, got it? Yeah. Spoiler alert. Definitely does. Absolutely he does. Oh, you better believe he does. Look at those teeth. <laughs> oh, works of art. Yeah. Um, who, do you, who would you like to see? A Galactus. Yeah, I think because we're, if we're heading, to, we're heading towards Guardians of the Galaxy 3, we're, we're heading, heading towards, towards the Eternals. Fa- Fantastic Four, X-Men. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah absolutely, yeah. yeah. And again, Galactus isn't evil so much as he is, he's just really hungry. It turns out Thanos was evil the whole time as well, because, you know, yeah. he's like, I just want to balance the universe, but now he's just like, I just want to destroy the universe yes. and make it so everyone thinks I'm great. Yeah, right, exactly. Oh, yeah. you weren't even about resource management. You know, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've never played a game of SimCity in your life, <laughs> Thanos. Um, I feel maybe that's a thing that, that never really got resolved, is that... The assumption that he claimed all the time that his infighting on his planet destroyed it. Yeah. But I was under the impression that it was his madness that destroyed the planet. Yes. We never really know otherwise, no. but I, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. There was also the thing that like he was he was like, oh, everybody gets better after you kill half the people there or whatever. I don't think Earth that's true seem that better no. at all. I mean, some people moved on and a few people made the point uh, in tweets and emails and such that... There would have been people who moved on and started new families and married new partners and whatever, and then all of a sudden your family's back and you're like, oh shit, yeah, right. I have a new husband. Yeah, right. right now. I wonder. Do you think they're not gonna they're not gonna address it in Far From Home at all? Are they? I think that's gonna be the next ten years. 
She's going to be people sorting out their family problems. Oh, wouldn't that be great if it's it's the same as our universe, yeah. except A, superheroes, and B, everybody's got like half wives <laughs> and double husbands. It would be that though, wouldn't yeah, it? That's right, what it yeah. would move towards. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'm still married to you. Yeah, but... because it's not, it's not a straightforward fix. It's not that they went back to 2018 and brought everyone back instantly. Yeah. There's a gap there. Yeah. Enough that people could easily move on or kill themselves because their family's gone. Yeah, right. Like, it's not a fix-all. No. It's better. And this, it's is not... for, this is for one kid. <laughs> yeah. Just FYI. Yeah. This is for one kid because he loved his kid so much. He's like, don't you dare change anything <laughs> from the previous five years. Don't you dare do it. <laughs> just keep, Just say, bring everybody back. From from then and bring my kid and back. keep my kid around. <laughs> but I don't think, I don't know. Maybe yeah, that right. undoes other things. I don't know how it works. Yeah. to be honest. Yeah, you got um, anything else before? Let's we, uh... see what we got. Look, this is the next email from Ian Jackson. When the unsnapping occurred, I just feel bad for anyone who lost a spouse during the snap. There you go. And married the spouse's best friend or twin brother, sister over the next five <laughs> years. That's very specific. All right. <laughs> Someone's uh, kind of let their heads. Everlasting slip. <laughs> trauma. Yep. Very easy for the yeah. team to make a decision that brought back everyone at the moment of the original snap, but also kept the good things that happened over the next five years. Yeah. Which only seemed to be true for Stark anyway. Mm. Yeah. I can't help but feel the MCU is now going to skip dealing with this trauma. Yeah. Yeah. And they're right. not going to mention it. You're right. Yeah. There'll be a throwaway line about how some people have graduated from high school. Yes. And then they'll, they'll never mention it again. You know what I think it will be? What's I that? think the way they keep everybody in check is listen, you'd be good to your. Old or new partners, or Captain America is going to come back and marry one of them, or both of them. <laughs> or both of them. Yeah. He'll oh, he's it. like he's like the he's like the boogeyman of, of, <laughs> of this universe now, where he's just like, you better keep you fly right off. Captain America is going to steal your <laughs> husband or wife or your old kids or your new kids. You're mistreating a dog. He'll adopt that dog he'll right t- out from under you. that dog. He's so good with dogs. Dogs love him. <laughs> he treats them so good. He gives them the good food. He takes them to the vet regularly for checkups. He flips his shield upside down and fills it with water. He'll yeah, do it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, he turns into a werewolf in the comics. He could do that. He'd get along with all dogs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That'll do it, I reckon. I think. Okay, yeah, great. Nice. Well, that is the show. Mm. Uh Look, maybe we'll, we could do like a next week, uh, people could ask questions or have theories about the future of the universe and we could go through a bunch of them. That sounds really that good. That would be a good, yeah, way, for good sure. episode to do. Yeah, okay. So if people have thoughts on that, hashtag weeklyplanetpod on Twitter or shoot them through uh, on the email weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. That'd be good. You can make them as spoiler heavy as you like. We probably can't respond to them again in the Twitter because... People see our responses and we yes, spell exactly. things, et cetera, and so And I forth. think that would be good because I think also, especially me, I'm kind of... I, I My brain's already funneled into the idea of it's going to be the Eternals and it's yeah. going to be Cosmic and the Guardians and Galactus or whatever. Give, show you don't want to be stuff. upset for being mm. so wrong again. Exactly. Mm. Just tears. Why don't we make a bet for what's next and the loser has to get the Hawkeye haircut? <laughs> wow. <laughs> but the winner gets the Hawkeye tattoo? <laughs> Yeah, that's a winner's tattoo. That's what I think. You better believe it is. Yeah. The the winners of the Krusty Demon Tournament get that tattoo put on themselves. Oh, terrific. Uh, uh, yeah, but, so I'd like to hear any kind of alts. I'm sure there'll be some smaller stuff. Like, I think, you know, Mysterio yeah. in this is a, is, a, is, a, is a back to like, yeah. well, he's just a dude in a suit who's probably doing this to rob banks. And Black you know? Widow's not going to be kicking Galactus in the head, is she? No. Like, it's not happening in her solo movie. So, no. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. It's weird they didn't bring the vision back. I feel like they could have. I think that's going to happen in WandaVision. I agree. I think it's going to be a journey. I mean, they're all a journey, aren't they? But maybe a journey to to him regaining his humanity. I agree. Because they're just going to put. He's just going to be weird gray vision. Yeah. And every week, a little bit of color appears. Like the movie. But the hole in his head never goes away. <laughs> There's still a big bash sparking, down, sparking oh. hole in his head. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. What's that movie with Tobey Maguire where everything's black and white and then Pleasantville? Pleasantville, yeah. It'll be Pleasantville, but it's just the vision is yeah, black and white. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Fantastic. Love it. Uh, you want to wrap this show yeah, up? Yeah, thanks everybody for listening. Big old episode. Thanks for yeah. sticking around till Endgame. Yeah, man. Oh, I hope everybody's bloody... I hope everybody's enjoying it. Is but this it... the end of the MCU? No. I mean, maybe. No. I mean, it might be like a, the culmination. and then... It's not even the end for the dead characters. No, I know. I'm just saying the com- like the popularity and oh, interest. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that's a good question. We just have to see. Yeah. It mm-hmm. depends on what steps they take next. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I feel like Far From Home is going to be a disappointment box office wise. Far From Home will do okay numbers, but it will not. Yeah, it'll be exactly. The exact, I think yeah. people will see it as a disappointment because yes. it's not making a billion dollars. But, but it's it also do... didn't cost... Three hundred million dollars. Exactly so right. Fine, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, anyway, thanks for sticking around, guys. Bloody, I hope you, I hope you, yeah. Give, give send, send more in game thoughts. I want to, we, we'll talk about it next week. That's right. Uh, if you want to get in contact with the show, Hashtag. Weekly Planet Pod 
Hashtag Weekly oh, yeah, Planet sorry, Pod. Yeah, the thing you <laughs> said. Weekly Planet Pod. I'll stop. I'm sorry. This is your you ready? area. Okay, this here we go. Job. It's my area of expertise. I do it wrong every week. Here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> weekly Planet Pod at Gmail and Facebook and Twitter and Bandcamp. We've got that Infinity War commentary up. If you, It's fixed. You can just play it through. He's doing the devil horns and the headbanging again. No, I'm he's, not. he's back into it. Uh, yeah, it's it's all been fixed up. It's working great. You so don't you have to pause it at any point. If you, you haven't seen Endgame through. yet, you want to see Infinity War and Endgame, maybe try a commentary over the top. Bloody yeah. bloody good stuff. I saw one person did it in the cinema with headphones. Oh, really? I wish I had that person in front of me. That's incredible. Thank you very much. I love that so much. Yeah. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening and subscribing and telling your friends. And bloody, bloody, give it us a nice review and a nice comment. We appreciate it. You can also find us on Twitter individually. I'm Wikipedia Brown on Twitter, and I'm Nick Maso N I C K M A S E A U on Instagram. That's Your right. Mr. Sunday movies everywhere in the world. Everywhere, everywhere in the bloody, everywhere in the bloody YouTube, world. Instagram, Facebook, other things. Uh, you can go to uh, planetbroadcasting.com. You can see all the other shows in the Planet Broadcasting Network. Mm-hmm. You can sign up to the. Uh, uh, Planet Broadcasting newsletter, which has all the news That's right. from our friend Rob Collings Ooh, at Rob Collings at the Weekly Planet on Twitter. Yes, king uh, Chris, of king of the Twitters. Chris Pilko did the did the screening in the cinema. I love it. Of a, of, that is very yeah, thank very you, good. Chris. Yeah. Um. What else do we say here? Other things? No, that'll do it. If you no, if you'd like to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies that'll if you'd like it. to chuck in a buck. That'll do it. We'd love it. There's an Amazon That's affiliate everything. link in the episode description. That's all we need. Click through that, <laughs> yeah. buy some stuff. We'd appreciate that. Um 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 iTunes reviews said that? Yeah, we said that. Yeah. Uh t shirts on tpublic.com. Yeah. We love seeing those out in the wild. Mm. Um thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. There's yes. another thing, I'm missing a thing. It's very important. Hey, maybe you could thank me. No, nope. Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Group uh, is yes. back. Planet uh, it's called Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Official. Find it's that. Back it's not the baby. original one, it's still the original's still gone, yes, gone forever. A, We're back up to four thousand members. Four thousand members now. On the, so, yeah. on the, we'll on the, on the new in version. No time. We'll be back in the back in no time. That's right. Um, and that is the show, I think. Yeah. Bunch of videos up uh, on the channel this week about Avengers Endgame, questions answered, timelines, the future. A bunch spoilers. Of other stuff. Spoilers. So many time. spoilers. So, yeah, exactly. Love spoilers. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much for listening. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. And goodbye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.